Coming up next, we have Halo 2, which has, by the way, met its donation incentive for Legendary Difficulty. So that is very hype. Almost as hype as Frank or Z. If you're just joining us, we are SDA, Speed Demos Archive. We are putting on AGDQ 2014 to raise money for the Prevent Cancer Foundation. Prevent Cancer Foundation has invested over $134 million in support of cancer prevention research, education, advocacy, and outreach. There is an extremely high level of hype in the room tonight, as the next game is, as I said previously, Halo 2, which will be on Legendary Difficulty. If you're looking for more donation incentives, coming up, we have Metal Gear Solid, where of course you can donate who to save, Meryl or Otacon. Currently, Meryl is winning, so if you don't like that, please donate for Otacon. Thank you, Tekio, for your $20 donation. Hi, everybody. Continue this great job. Special shout out to the French chat and the hype German new community. Full support of the SDA speedrunners. Love you all. Thank you, Cabbage, for your $15 donation. Hi. Screw cancer. Games are fun. I'm bad at writing comments. Thank you, Anonymous, for your $10 donation. Thank you for giving me something to do at 3 a.m. when my baby won't sleep. You guys are doing an amazing thing. Well, that was a joke in a way. Good luck on Halo. Thank you, Lucas, for your $10 donation. Thanks for the stream. It's already, as b it's already a big start to 2014. You guys keep making my day so awesome with games like Resident Evil 4. Keep up the good content. Hugs from Brazil. Uh, legendary is what I'm the difficulty. I'm, I don't think I understand what you're saying, sorry. Oh, Rumble's right. Choice. Um, either Skyrim or DK64, whichever is less at the time. Or it, once it gets met, um, the next goal that's in order that hasn't been met. You got this. Hype for the run. You can do this. We are hype. We are hype. Dude, you have You have MLGB7. Hey, hello. I said you have MLGB7 behind you. Do I need a mic on you? That's actually I tried to fail. I 
tried to chant and nobody went. Hey yeah, man, you gave it a valiant effort. That's what matters, right? That probably fantastic. Thank you, Jason, for your five dollar donation. Hey guys, I watched three marathons now, but have never donated due to this great cause. Even though I'm a poor college student, you guys are doing such a great job. I had to give something. Thank you. We appreciate it. Any and every donation of any size is definitely appreciated. Thank you, Blower, for your $5 donation. Thanks for the awesome stream, guys. As a request, could a guy in the second row with the hat say to say my name, keep up the good work and great runs. Four, five, six, seven. Say my name. There you go. You guys say it now. Say my name. 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 Oh, she's controlling that thing? Yeah. Yeah, because it's not his x rod remember? It's fine. <laughs> Just remember, it's my All system. Right. It's my room. Can we talk about our time? Russ, stay alone? Uh, yes. Test, test. Talking. I am yeah. speaking. Wait, can you tell me which number you're on? Oh, I thought you said test. He's yeah, on yeah. seven. Seven, yeah. I'm on... He, All right, I'm going to go ahead and preload this I, level I got, just I because. Got, I got I got it. Actually, let's preload this. Now is also a great time to plug our fantastic French and German restreamers. You can catch the French restream at twitch.tv slash MrMV and the German restream at twitch.tv slash exe underscore de. Also, if you're enjoying the nice high quality cameras, GameSpot has donated our cameras for the marathon. You're going to preload the level? Yeah. <laughs> Turn off the film. Tell me when I start. Oh, yeah. I no. start now. Oh, I should have <laughs> <laughs> That's great. Is that a Neville Longbottom? Is that a Neville Longbottom? Is that a Neville Longbottom? What? Yeah. Yeah. When, <laughs> when do I go? <laughs> Yo, we got a Yeti up in her. Are you going to split as well? I can't. My stuff is dead. I'm sorry. If you have a phone, I can run it on your phone. No, I've got to check my phone during the run or something. Before we, uh, before we get started, if we could get a quick roll call for everybody on the couch. Do I start? I'm Mr. Monopoly. I, yeah, you should probably start, yeah. <laughs> no, don't start, Monopoly. <laughs> no, I mean, everyone else. All right. I'm Zimbabwe. You may or may not be able to see me. I don't know where the cameras are. It's over there. The big one right there. Uh, I'm a cute lynx, cat savior. <laughs> <laughs> He's the real hero here. Our lord and cat savior. Reed Tiburon. <laughs> I actually voted to kill the animal. Reed Tiburon. <laughs> I'm Stryker. I don't know if you can hear me, but hey. Yeah, that's Stryker. Bar <laughs> solo. <laughs> That's later in the game. <laughs> uh, Alright, uh, whenever you see a white screen, that's it'll be in just a couple seconds. Chat's blowing up cat saving. Right now. Well, I guess it was all obsolete anyway. Alright. First couple missions there, or really the first mission is about two and a half minutes of auto scroller, but there's a little bit of things you can do to speed it up. Okay, let's test your targeting first thing. Please look at the top light. Good. Now look at the Well, once we get out of this, we'll be able to speed it up. Oh, I should mention, I'm playing Halo 2 on Legendary, and Legendary is a kind of peculiar speed run in that there is deaths in this run in the world record and almost every run that will be done, 
because sometimes dying is better than going slow. And it really is, it's, it's luck manipulation. I'm not being ironic when I say that. A lot of people, you figure out where the enemies are, and once you get the luck, then you know how to go and how to take on the next room. And pushing uh, guns right there saves about a quarter of a second. So there's, yeah, yeah you got to save them frames. Bingo. Streamer, do you play inverted? I do not play inverted. Okay. What's interesting is Halo 1 actually is faster to play inverted by about 10 seconds, but Halo 2 you do not have to play inverted. Um, I do not like inverted controls. I will. I got the chili hole skip. Nice. <laughs> One second time save. There's a. There's dialogue. He can say two different things at that point. He can say his armor's working fine, or he can continue to say, "So shut your chili hole." And it's it's completely random. And in my chat, we get hype about the chili hole skip. That's it's like one and a half seconds or so. Well, he's not particularly. But I will I will be dying like I said a few times during this run, and they really don't mean much. So don't lose your hype when I die. Hopefully, I don't die much. But Earth. E R F and Earth. When I shipped out for basic, yeah. the orbital of the transcript was all theory. Now look. Thank you, Slinky, for your fifty dollar donation. Nice. Slinky. Awesome. What's up, Slinky? Shout out to Slinky. He's a he's a Halo runner. He does Halo One a lot. He's pretty good at it. Tell I can't. No, go, yo, tell him what you would like to tell him. Step up your game, Slinky, because Goat's taking all your records. Oh, 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 oh. Shots, Shots are being fired all over the place, which it's isn't surprising because it's Halo. Going down that was a bad joke. I'll read the comment. I can't stay and watch the run live. I have, a, I have an early morning. Best of luck to you, Monopoly. Monopoly is the best, the single best Halo 2 speedrunner in the world. Everyone's in for a show. I said that because Slinky or Goat Rope just took the legendary Halo One record earlier today, a few hours ago. Yeah. yeah. Oh man. Yeah. I think it's about like a 152, is it? Yeah. Goat Rope got a 152. Mm -hmm. All the DX files. Oh, yeah. Show off some double shotting. Yeah. Quad <laughs> shot. <laughs> oh! Where's the gun, please? Get that VXR going. Yeah. VXR. VXR. I, I have to wait for this door to blow up anyway. I'm going to be sneaking past these enemies as they come through this door. VXR into the uh, There's a lot of sneaking around enemies in some of these levels. This level actually has more killing than almost any level, so I'm going to be grabbing a plasma pistol and using that for the rest of the level. It may fondly be remembered by you guys as the noob combo. Um, <laughs> So is the V1 going to be on this the whole time? Because I can't see my ammo counter, and that's kind of important. Because uh, I don't know how much ammo I have. Um, all right, I'll just deal with it. That's V1 in the upper right. Yeah. The people on stream can't see it. But uh, ammo management's actually very important for the more so at the beginning of the run than the end of the run. So that'll that'll affect my play a little bit. We but we'll be all right. Stream put to that um, right here, I'm just clearing out enemies using the noob combo. Uh, you use nade the grunts as they come out and noob combo the elites. Um, it's kind of on a timer, and it's kind of not at the same time. Uh, the first three waves that you can get them more optimally, but the last wave is still going to spawn on a set timer from when you cleared out the third wave. Um, there's a couple enemies alive, but they don't all have to be dead for the last wave to spawn. I want this guy dead, though. Oh, he's not going to die. Alright, Marines are finally being helpful. Alright, and that's the first room. That went pretty well. Uh, looking at this explosion right here... Um, uh, I'm, come on, Dad. I'm trying to take, I'm trying to take teammates' grenades. Nobody dropped any. But looking at this explosion at right here actually makes it blow up faster, and it carries on with the dialogue quicker. So cool guys aren't supposed to look at explosions, but you have to if you want to go fast. Yeah, it it speeds up the dialogue. It does lag it a little bit, but the lag frames are way less than the like it saves like 15 seconds to do or something like that. Um, 
it's crazy how much looking at it does. Because it's you're kind of supposed to go along with the story and see what's happening with the game, mm -hmm. and that's what that's doing. Yeah, Bungie didn't want you to miss the action. I I <laughs> intentionally didn't overcharge that one because I wanted to kill the red one before he got away. I did. So they just dropped the plasma nade to my right or left, and I didn't want that to hit me. <laughs> There's too many elites alive. They are really trolling me with these dodging. Yeah, they like to juke you. They like to hide behind boxes. Oh, man. This this is going to be brutal. There is a lot of elites alive right now, and they're dodging all my shots. This is why I bring up two plasma pistols, though, because if um, something goes wrong and I run out of ammo on this one like I'm about to, then I can switch and pick up this one right here, and now I have another one. Um, <laughs> They are, they are really trolling me hard, though. Come yeah, so on. Oh. Ah, I hit him, but he got away. He, he's actually a blue elite, and blue elites have the longest um, recharge of their shields, so he'll probably still be low when I come over here. And I might be able to pick him off. No, he's hiding on the other side of the box. Um, and this is the last wave of this room coming in right now. Please die. Thank you. And I don't have enough for it, I don't think but I can't see my ammo counter. I do not. So I'm going to have to grab another plasma pistol. Luckily, I dropped one right here. There's two um, white elites. Like, I was talking about the ranks of them. White elites are the most powerful elites in this game by a lot. They're, like, twice as strong as the next lowest rank. So you really want to get them dead um, whenever you're fighting. And noob combo is the best way to do that. Who's still alive? There's a sword guy somewhere, and he's going to be waiting around the corner for me. Whew. Oh. <laughs> he, th he thought he had me. He nice. thought he had me. All right. So that's the end of that. That was, that was close. All right, looking, once again, looking at the explosion speed, speed some things up. That was close. Whew. Getting my heart pounding. Come on, there's a second elite that'll open this door. Yeah, that's him. All right. I threw the sword down here, right? Okay, yeah, yeah, I did. So you can see he juggled the sword down here. He's going to use it again later on. And juggling is like a technique where you can only hold two weapons, but if you keep picking up and redropping, uh, you can actually get uh, de facto three weapons. Yeah. And the sword is the key to the best trick in Halo 2 speedrunning, in my opinion. A lot of people's opinions. The first sword fly is coming up in a couple of seconds. And it basically, the sword's a, a close range weapon, and if the aimer's red, you can do a cool little lunge at an enemy. Um, but by trick. <laughs> <laughs> but you have a couple frames that you can actually. Uh, I got wrecked. Oh. <laughs> that, like I said, you will die a couple times in this run. Uh, wow. All right. Sword fly again. Part two. Three. There we go. Okay. Yeah. You, it's, a, it's a couple frame trick, so I'm not going to hit all of them first try, and not all of them even save that much time, but I'll, I'll go for a lot of them. I'm actually going to have to kill enemies here because they gave me a little bit of trouble, um, which means another wave of enemies might spawn if I was slow. Did they? Yeah, they yeah. did. Um, these guys just spawn if you're too slow, which I was. They were in a pretty bad position, but hiding behind boxes is actually a good technique because elites can't really shoot over them. Um, which lets you just kind of, I don't need that, I don't need to juggle. What am I doing? All right. There's another sword fly coming up. Hopefully this is a really this sick one. one, by the way. Yeah, this one, it's RNG dependent though. This elite can fly to a few places. He's actually in the worst place possible right now, which is going to work. Nice. Okay, it worked. <laughs> <laughs> Um, that's the hardest position to hit it from, but it, it saves a good chunk of time. Thank you, Anonymous, for your $517 donation. Wow. Keep clapping because Anonymous asks that we give everyone who is battling cancer right now an encouraging round of applause.
in this room, basically at the top, uh, there are a certain amount of drones that have to die. And once they die, that door at the bottom opens. So that's what the grenades at the beginning were for, to clear out some of the drones and uh, get down here as quickly as possible. I actually got one of the best drone fights I've ever had. <laughs> yeah, that that, really that fight was really slow with the elites, but the drone fight makes up for it. So what I'm going to do here is try to hit this guy long range. The plasma pistol doesn't track from really long range, but nice. if you can just aim, then you can hit uh, that one. But sometimes the turret will actually intercept the shot, which really sucks. Because that, the, guy, the elite that's on that turret right there really likes to give you trouble. These guys are also giving me trouble, which usually they're pretty nice. All right, there we go, finally hit one. When you hit one, the other one usually flies away. There we go, he's dead anyway. All right, I picked up another 100 ammo plasma pistol. I can't see that I have 100 ammo, but I'll trust it. Uh, <laughs> go for the stick. All right, going for a stick right here, MLG right. Pro. Come on. Ah, oh, I was a little bit shallow. Yeah. That's, that's a really tough grenade to get with the angle. How many times have you gotten that? I've actually never gotten it. <laughs> <laughs> but it's gotta, it's gotta be possible. Yeah, I've, I hit it, or I hit it once in practice. I've never hit it in a run, and so it is possible. But I've never actually hit it in a run. Also, you can't ask the people behind us for your ammo count because they have a no so delay. You know, oh, really? That's yeah. great. I may be able to at some points because there's some waiting that I need ammo. The oh wow! Projector behind doesn't have the view so they can see the ammo. This room is actually really tough, and this, this is why I don't do more sword flying, is because I need a plasma pistol for this point, and you can't juggle to here, it's not worth it. Um, the plasma pistol is just invaluable in this room, because there's so many elites. It's, it's, it's the weapon that you need on this level, as you've noticed. I've used it to kill almost every elite. They're not in the best positions right now, so they're making me peek back and forth. Oh, wow, oh, that was really unlucky. That was, oh. really, that was really unlucky. That's a bad checkpoint. Yeah, that, that is. is. You're supposed to get a checkpoint in that door. I don't know why I didn't. Damn. Oh, sorry for that. Yeah, I knew I was going to die again. That's why I said that. Thank you, Rettle44, yeah. for your $100 donation. That, that's unfortunate. Not, not the $100 donation. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my goodness. NGDQ <laughs> is beyond the best excuse to donate to charity. Always entertaining and always for a great cause. You get another yeah. shot. Get another shot of the stick. Yeah. Of yeah. The stick. Yeah. We, we got it this time. Get hyped. I'll be hyped. Come on. Board with Monopoly. He's going for the stick. Oh, oh. oh. it's in the air. Nah, no, it's too oh. early. Yeah, too early. You were way too early. That was like, <laughs> that was like all whip and then that. <laughs> all right. Oh. I'm sorry. <laughs> So I have a few deaths on this level. Hopefully I can clear this room again so I can try. It's, this room and the last place I died are probably the toughest parts of the Just level. So, you know, so I'm not real surprised at the deaths. The this one's longer than I would have liked it to be. Most of the deaths in this game are pretty short. Um, but that one still wasn't terrible. I did get a checkpoint though, so if I do die here, which I think actually I'm just going to revert, because that was, that was a really bad uh, enemy spawn. So as you may be able to tell, there's a lot of randomness with the checkpoints in this game. Sometimes you do get them, sometimes you don't, and it just really doesn't make sense. Come on. Thank you very much, Monopoly's mom, oh. for your $50 donation. So excited to watch your run online instead of in the living room. <laughs> Hope you have a fantastic run for this great cause. Thanks, Love mom. you. Love you. All right. So I did make it through here. That's that's nice. a really tough room. Dying that's once horrible. is unfortunate, and the checkpoint was even more unfortunate, but yeah. not a huge time loss. Momopoly. Shout outs to Momopoly. <laughs> <laughs> so is that two moms that donated? Bone Mom and Momopoly? Shout outs to Bone Mom, too. She's awesome. <laughs> so I'm, ab I'm above the map. with a, I grabbed a sniper at the wow. start, and then I grenade jumped above the map. You're not actually supposed to be up here. As you wouldn't be intended to grenade jump above things. But normally you're supposed to escort uh, Johnson to a pelican and fight a bunch of snipers. Sniper Alley is actually infamous on this level because there's like 15 jackal snipers that one hit you in a hallway that you're supposed to kill. But I'm actually running straight over that. It's, yeah. It skips like 10 minutes. It's yeah, not, it's it's not even that difficult to do. A lot of people found it within their first couple playthroughs. I'm sure they knew about this. Yeah. Well, there's, awesome like that. Yeah. yeah, I'm pretty sure I did. Yeah, there's a skull hidden up yeah, there. Yeah, so. they did know you could get out. So I'm trying to make this elite angry at me, which I just did. All white elites in this game have swords. 
And so making them angry, um, <laughs> yeah. ruthless, dude. making them angry will make them pull out their swords, and I need it for the next level. And I, I killed that guy because he has frags, and I need his frag grenades. And I didn't just do it because I'm a cold, heartless person. There, a Although most heartless. of the time, I am a cold, heartless person. <laughs> With the in it, or allies, that was really good. That was really good. That was really, really good. Um, Thank you, Crusher six six seven, for your twenty dollar donation. It's my second donation. Thank you so much for an amazing stream for an amazing cause. I'm so excited for Halo, the XR that cancer. Shout out to my, awesome. shout out to my awesome girlfriend who's watching with me. Remember, everyone, your donations can also score you points with your relatives. <laughs> Right, I'm gonna have to wait here for shields. Normally you don't have to, but that ghost really did a number on me behind me. Um, yeah, and you saw he uh, sniped the turret because if you don't snipe that turret, it's really, really inconsistent getting through that part. Um, and so that's just a consistency strat. And there's a bunch of driving for the next few minutes, but the driving's actually really difficult, uh, especially the next level. This level isn't as hard. But there are tons of places where you can die. This is one of them. Getting sniped by that jackal is really annoying. Holding A actually raises the front of the ghost barely so that you don't get sniped. So I hold A going over that. It makes the angle harder for him to hit. But the ghost is too inconsistent to take through the rest of the level. So I'm actually going to be grabbing this warthog that just spawned behind me. Get it, get it. Come on, yeah. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> the that's like a, uh, it's like a stream chat thing. Basically, uh, that marine can teleport through the warthog. Yeah, I think it, how much does it save? Like a couple it, of it's, seconds. It's like two seconds. It's like two seconds. Yeah. Cool. Every frame counts. Wow, two seconds. Mm -hmm. um, but I need the marines in this vehicle because the enemies will shoot at all three of us rather than just me. And so a third of their, at least, or two thirds of their shots will actually miss me because they're aiming. Oh, I prepared for this. <laughs> you prepared for this? I literally just, oh man. <laughs> Thank you for the donation, Runner Vortex, for $20. Awesome marathon. I can't wait for Metal Gear Rising. Rules of Nature hype. All right, we're good. Oh, right, we're good. Third off time. You had me nervous. We in there. Definitely world record. <laughs> yeah, we're not quite on world record pace, but we can get a group round going. So yeah, here the uh, the Marines draw uh, enemy fire, and so if they don't end up shooting you, um, these guys actually end up jumping out later on in the level. But if they survive until then, uh, they soak up a lot of damage. It's mainly this section that they're used for because these three oh, shadows, I think they're called. I don't even know. I think these are shadows. Yeah. They'll all aim at the Marine in the turret. So you see all the bullets are going behind me. Usually this place is extremely hard to get through uh, without them. I think people talked about making that a donation incentive. Uh, I don't know. We, can we add a donation incentive mid-run? A thousand gets met for Scarab Gun? Is that okay? I don't see why not. Of course we can. Of course, we can add anything. It's all going to a good thing. How long would people would, have to raise the $1,000? I will do it at the end of the run. So they'll have till the very end of the run. And so it'll waste about two minutes. So it's, not, it's very short. How, how about, about how much time? An hour, hour and a half? Okay. okay. Yeah, like, okay. like an hour and a half. Yeah, I mean, I, I understand. Well, speaking of fantastic donations, Melkor the Great donates two hundred dollars. Nice, Woo! nice. Just wanted to say happy birthday to Mr. Monopoly. It's Good not luck my birthday, with the run. By the way. Well, I have a lot of people in the, in here saying it's your birthday. <laughs> Thanks a lot, Melkor. Melkor is a huge reason why I was able to get here. Uh, Melkor is an awesome guy. Um, was it Melkor that matched your dinner? Yeah, I did a 24-hour stream uh, to try to help me raise m funds for the plane ticket to get here, and Melkor was a huge reason I was able to meet my goal, so that was really awesome. <laughs> Thanks a lot, Melkor. Is there a reason why people think it is your birthday? It's a chat thing. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's my birthday like once a week. <laughs> yeah, it's, it started in ZFG's stream, I think. All right, so these Marines can actually be really annoying and getting in. They actually got in quickly, so that's cool. Also, um, so you guys are going to see some burning on yeah. the screen. That's an artifact of this game being played yeah, on 360. You, there's like that faint thing at the top. When you play on the 360 version of this game, that happens. Most of the time, they're not too annoying. This one's actually kind of bad for this level. Um, but they don't really get in the way. They'll go away once I get in the tunnels of this level, too. But the Marines that I have, they're very helpful on the second half of this level, but they're very hurtful on the first half because if they decide they want to shoot a rocket at these things as I'm crossing a wall or a vehicle or something, they'll just shoot it at the ground or the wall and they'll blow me up. 
<laughs> it's really annoying to have them. Now it, you understand why yeah. he kills him all the time. If it was going to happen, it was probably going to happen back there, so I don't think it'll happen, because I'll take a safer strat here. It can happen on these ghosts too, but not today, Marine, not today. Thank you, Jason C., for your $20 donation. Cool guys don't look at explosions. Major props for running legendary. Let's beat cancer like Master Chief beats the Covenant. <laughs> yeah, so legendary in this game is actually the hardest of any game in the series. Like in, for Halo 1, they had legendary, and uh, people were like, okay, we want more of a challenge. So they bumped the challenge up way too high in this game, and then they kind of scaled back uh, for the rest of the series. So this is, beating this game on Legendary is a major achievement, let alone beating it under two hours. If this is actually the hardest section of the level two. There's two snipers that are coming up here and a bunch of enemies that I'm just going to attempt to drive through. Um, nice. It went perfect. Oh, we in there. We in there, son, we in there. <laughs> yeah. That's You're really not supposed to take a Warthog through this section at all. Um, you can tell by all the barriers they put up to stop me. <laughs> It's really deceptively hard because there's so many ways you can get stuck in that one little part. There are boxes, trucks, all kinds of stuff. Give me a checkpoint, please. All right, I don't need them. Sub life. Ah, oh, all right, we in there. I thought you were about to get charged. Yeah, there's one. It was really close. I was worried about it. Right. The reason, okay, so on that last level, I grabbed a sniper and sword. A lot of you may have saw. It wasn't really for the last level, it was for this level. Because you carry over weapons between the levels. That's also why I needed four grenades and why I killed that Marine. You need the sniper to take these guys out, which isn't 100% necessary, but it's really consistent. And then I'll be doing a sword fly to this Wraith. I fly to the further one because the Marines can be really annoying and blow you up if you fly to the first one. And so I should land right here. Yeah. Those Marines and that hog that you see to my right. Um, can ruin the speed run. Oh, Rafe, please. He's gonna troll me. He does this. <laughs> Rafe, please. All right, so I threw a grenade and boarded it at the same time, so you saw that explosion. You're not supposed to be able to put a grenade in until you knock the hatch off. But if you board and throw at the exact same frame, then it will put them both in at the same time, and so it's cool. Saves, saves a good bit of time because it damages them quicker and lets them die. Oh, wow, the Marines did really good there. Wow. Usually it takes like 10 hits for that to die, um, so the Marines put in work. All right. So I need a plasma rifle to fall from the sky. I see one on the right and one right in front of me. Perfect. Uh, blowing up that phantom uh, dr kills a couple of ghost drivers and they'll drop me a plasma rifle. I'm doing the poor man's noob combo for this level. I can't get a plasma pistol at this point, so we'll be doing plasma rifle strats. And now everyone who played Halo 2 multiplayer knows about super balancing. Uh, you're about to see it. Um, it's basically like intersecting the player model uh, with uh, the geometry in such a way that it pushes you back out at really high speed. It'll be fun to see. Let's hope I hit it. It's actually pretty precise. You have to land exactly between two polygons. And I also have to time it such that I land on the scarab as it's moving towards me. And I can't go too high because of fall timer. There it is. Oh, oh wait. Not yep, we're on there. We're on there. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> You can so, see the textures on this thing are, are kind of wonky just because it hasn't really loaded yet and none of the enemies are spawned yet. So that is actually on a timer. Um, so it doesn't save as much time as you might think, but it does save a little bit of time. Yeah. And it looks really cool. Yeah. It just yeah. looks awesome. Yeah. So yeah. much swag. Um, I, I have to wait for the enemies to spawn, so I'm not just waiting around. There's three pilots of this uh, rake that, or scarab that you have to kill. And I'm going to trigger them by standing down here, and then I'll do another cool little trick um, to kill them a little bit easier. So as soon as I spawn, I'll run up and hope that an elite doesn't follow me. He didn't follow me, so we're good. And then we'll drop, and we can actually peek through the wall <laughs> of the scarab, and then I can take out the enemies this way. Um, these are the only three that need to die, fortunately. So it's very easy to do, with, while these guys are just shooting me from above, and they can't do anything. And the level ends. So right. guys. So that level went really well. Thank you, Musa, for your $20 donation. Shout out to, Miss, shout out to Monopoly. Good luck with the rest of the run, dude. Thanks, Musa. He's another one person I know from online. All right, I killed these guys, once again, not because I'm cold-hearted, but the killing the first elite I did opens up this door, and killing the rest of them will allow me to skip dialogue in this room because no one's alive, so no one can talk to me. So this door will open up like 30 seconds faster than normal. 
right, that was pretty good. Nice. And it's also worth pointing out that those guys are actually your allies, even though they're aliens, because you actually play as an alien in this level. So yeah. if you've never played this game, uh, for the rest of the game, you switch off between Master Chief and the Arbiter, who's like the main a alien character. Yeah. And you have cloak device. Yeah, you do. Yes. That's, that's the Arbiter's main power-up, is he can cloak. Rather than a flashlight, he cloaks. And so what I just did there was I hit the button for this elevator through the wall, so it's already moving down as I get to it. Uh, where are you going to be? Uh, Sentinels did not fly to a good spot. Normally I would sword fly off of the Sentinel right here, but there's none in the middle of the map. That's a little bit random. But luckily there's a backup you can do off of this guy. So it, it's also still fast. Nice. Good checkpoint too. This is a risky part, so having a checkpoint there is pretty good. You can actually hide slightly outside the map right here though, and snipe enemies from here. Um, which will make it where they can still damage me, but they're much less likely to kill me. And then this phantom comes in. He's, it's an allied phantom. And it will, it'll help me kill some enemies. They'll be distracted by the phantom. I shouldn't die. I say shouldn't, but this is a, <laughs> this is this a is marathon. Halo 2. Yeah, it's Halo 2 and it's a marathon. But that seemed to go well. Oh, there's still more. Why did you guess spawn? Uh, that's not too bad. So once you get all the Sentinels dead, uh, three fuel rod wielding grunts will spawn, and they can actually kill you pretty easily. So you gotta get them pretty much as soon as they spawn, or else they'll do some damage. And my allies aren't helping at all. Okay, there we go. Now they're helping. Get stuck <laughs> twice. Three times. <laughs> Alright, so they're all dead. And then I should get a checkpoint right here, because this is the hardest part of the level. I may die once. Um, it won't be that big of a death, so don't. Don't get too disappointed. I have to manipulate that guy is the problem. Um, yeah, I, that's, that's not too bad. I have to know where these guys are going to be. So I play it differently on one death compared to that other one. And I still messed it up. But I think I can salvage this one. Maybe not. Yeah, I didn't. I shouldn't have tried. Um, this, it's all dependent on where that elite spawns. Which means I should be camoing earlier, but he's still running forward. That's stupid. All right, one more again. There we go. That's nice. right. <laughs> All right. They shouldn't be able to kill me. I'm going to wait here oh, man. for more camo because camo is very important. All right. That that actually. Oh wow. Oh wow. That's oh. that's really unfortunate. I was about to say that wasn't terrible because dying here is kind of expected. I hate to say that, but it kind of is. Um, but we, we can recover. <laughs> We can recover. Yeah. So I'll wait here for camo again. Oh wow. Oh, wow. That's oh. obviously they don't come they didn't come up last time, but they do that time. Marathon luck. We will get this. It's much faster to do this, even with dying a few times. Like I think I died like four times now so or so, but it's still faster than actually killing these waves of enemies. I don't have to wait this time because I didn't get shot. So I shouldn't die. That's, See, that's, that, that's how that's supposed to go. That's luck for you. Yeah. yeah. There's, there's a few places that are luck-based like that. I was hoping to avoid multiple deaths to any one point of this game, but that did not happen. They were mostly short deaths, though. Yeah, as short, far as that goes, yeah. that was actually pretty easy. As long as, as long as the deaths are under, like, 20 seconds, like, those are all, like, 10-second deaths. They're not a huge deal. And then I will wait for camo here. Uh, the camo cycles are very, very <coughs> precise. So you, you time them so that... You don't have to do a lot of waiting, but you need to also be able to make it past the hard parts. So there will be a couple points where I do have to wait for camo. This is another one. It's a, I think it's a seven and a half second recharge, or maybe it's 10. I'm not sure. But it's routed out so that I, I get it where I need it. It took a lot of experimenting to get the proper camouflage route. Yeah, no, I mean, yeah. on, on easy, uh, it's a lot more forgiving. Uh, the camo lasts longer, it takes less time to recharge. On Legendary, it's the exact opposite. So. Yeah. Alright, which door the enemies spawn through here is random? I want them to spawn directly behind me. But they didn't, of course. It's like five seconds, it's not a huge deal. You can't, that's interesting that you bring that up. You actually can't on an NTSC Xbox. Um, that's a PAL only trick. Um, yeah. <laughs> the, the individual level, uh, used to do it, I beat the time without having the trick, but the trick saves about 10 seconds. Um, yeah. <laughs> yeah. We in there. Speaking of individual levels, I, there's, 
the individual level strats are quite a bit different than legendary or just full game strats as you can probably imagine for most games. They're they're strange. But all right, that's that level. That didn't go terribly, but it didn't go great. I'm still alive. Like I said at the start of the run, I will die a couple times. Most most of the checkpoints are very close to where I plan on dying, so <coughs> I have it routed to figure it out before. So in this part, you'll notice he looks at the floor a lot. Um, that's for two reasons. One, there's bodies on the floor. Uh, later on, blood infection forms will come by. They can reanimate the corpses, so he wants to have them blown up. And secondly, his uh, allies are invisible right now, and invisibility creates lag. So to reduce lag, you look at the floor. So it's basically Goldeneye. Just <laughs> literally gold man. <laughs> yes, it does. Um, what am I keeping? A box. box. <laughs> That's fine. Um, Mystery box. You have to wait here. A few uh, rounds of infection forms will spawn that, re like you said, reanimate corpses of flood. I'm going to try to get a few of them as soon as they spawn, which saves time. You have to kill a certain amount before the door down below will open. Right now, the heretic leader's talking, so I just have to wait for them to start spawning, which should be in a couple seconds. There we go. So I got one. That's, that's a pretty good spawn. Two, great. Three, nice. Oh, I didn't hit that one completely. But getting three off the start is actually really good. They can spawn in any of eight places, and they just spawned in the places I was looking, so that's great. Um, <coughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, it clears, it, it clears the infection forms out really quickly. And the grunts say funny things, too. All right, so that should be it. All right, yeah, there we go. Oh, man, the elevator. Yeah, the elevator. This is the bane of speedrunners, or one of the banes of speedrunning this game, is this elevator. It's an auto-scroller, but it's an auto-scroller that can kill you and make you lose a lot of time. Um, it's... Yeah, that's correct. Um, that you can you can see where the elevator's going. Like I know exactly where it's going. It's going straight down, like elevators do. But there's a death barrier that's attached to the elevator, and until a certain point, you can't drop off of the elevator. So I'll kill all the way into that until that point. But then I, I get a drop. But this is all a couple minutes of just killing, hoping I don't die. I'll be catching them off their spawn most of the time. I wish I could see my ammo right here. That's kind of important. Twenty six. Thanks a lot. Yeah, in this part, you kind of have to scavenge carbine ammo off the flood. So if there's a carbine wielding flood, you want him to jump down. You don't want it to kill him up there, because then he won't drop his ammo. And you need the ammo for the next room. Right. No one's spawning with carbines right now, which is kind of, which is kind of annoying. Yeah, I can, I can see it now. <laughs> Thanks, guys, though. <laughs> Come on. It's a good time for do donation comments. Oh, yeah, donation comments can definitely be read right now because this is, this is a lot of the same. So they just killed the guy that I wanted to jump. Oh, he, they, he didn't drop it. Sweet. So there's a carbine for me. Awesome. Oh, oh wow. What? This is why I kill these guys. You guys are so useless. <laughs> 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 I got stuck by an ally right there, just in case you guys missed it. Flood do not throw grenades. The only people that could have stuck me right there were my great teammates. <laughs> Very useful, as you can see. Sounds like every only player. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. They, they play the objective. <laughs> All right, good time for donation comments? Yeah, go for it. All right, welcome to Awesome Games Done Quick 2014. We are raising money for the Prevent Cancer Foundation over this marathon, and it's been a great marathon so far. You're watching Halo 2 by Monopoly here. A couple of donations. First one from Program Max for $50. Yeah. He says, this is my third donation, totaling $200. I've never seen Halo 2 run be before. It is amazing to watch. Thanks, Monopoly. Thanks, Max. We've got another donation from Hipfire for $40. What's up, guys? Hipfire here. Good luck on the run, Booth. So, when's Halo 3? 
Hi Fire is uh, he's a Halo 3 runner and uh, he's a good friend of ours and uh, it's awesome that he donated. Yeah. I will be running Halo 3 after I'm done with this game. I don't know when I'll be done with this game, <laughs> but I've been running it for a few years now. Yeah, I, since, since actually 2006 I've been running this game. Uh, a couple years. Yeah, a little bit of my life has gone into it. <laughs> so we're finally at the end of this elevator. This is the last wave. You can tell it's the last wave whenever the sentinels spawn. Once the elevator starts moving one more time, that's when I can finally jump off of it and be done with this forsaken place. Come on, die. Thank you. All right. So you'll hear it start moving, hopefully. All right, I'm going to the other side. There's too many enemies over there. OK, so now it's moving, which means I can drop down. And you can't drop in one fell swoop, so you actually have to drop in two goes, or else the fall timer will kill you, which I have really low sword ammo. Uh, there's a just sword cancel down the hallway for some cool movement. So down here is basically a room where uh, you're kind of stuck in here uh, and enemies keep respawning, uh, heretics keep respawning, uh, you also get blood coming out of the top and eventually once you've killed enough things, the door is open. That's basically how it goes. Yep. This level... What? This level has a lot of killing as well. Uh, a lot of stuff that can go wrong. Because flood fights are very unpredictable. Because first of all, they spawn with random weapons. And then secondly, they're, they're really unpredictable, the way they run around like crazy people. So after having everyone dead here, three heretics will spawn up here. So I'll kill them almost as soon as they spawn. Um, what's, what's also interesting is <coughs> heretics actually do no damage by melees. So me being close to them is much better than being ranged because their ranged carbines do a ton of damage, just like every enemy on Legendary, but they forgot to program damage for the melee of it, the front melee, so it does nothing. They just punch you in the face and it's like a pillow or something. <laughs> I'll be, I'll be uh, sorting more dead bodies uh, to prevent them from coming back to life, like you just saw that one doing, because I don't like killing the same person twice. That, that is slow. And I'll also be doing some very short sword flies in here. I was going to do one there, but they were knocking boxes around and making me nervous. They can splatter you with those boxes, and that's, 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 that's pretty it's strange. Embarrassing. Yeah, it's not fun. I was going to do it. But. So uh, one of the big uh, reasons this fight is so annoying is because it has a lot of flood infection forms. And infection forms are really glitchy in this game. Like, uh, they're the little popcorn flood, basically. Um, they're supposed to pop upon contact with you, doing a little bit of damage. Sometimes they don't pop um, and for a long time, and then sometimes they're just invincible and they don't pop at all. Um, and so they just stay on you, sapping away your shields and then your health, and then you die, all from one little popcorn, so. Yeah. It actually happens more on easy than legendary, which is interesting. Um, they're one of the main ways you can die in this game on easy. Easy is extremely easy difficulty, like, um, during this like commentary, like the special edition DVD that came with this game years ago, they talked about how they decided how hard this game needed to be. And easy, they decided needed to be that one of the developers could beat it while playing with his nose. He had to control the game with his nose and was able to beat it. So that, yep, that's how they decided that easy needed to be easy. And the funny story is that um, it was still too hard for one of his friends. So. Yeah. It's, <laughs> Yeah, it's it's very hard to die on easy in most situations unless you're doing tricks where you'll fall off the map and stuff. But that that room went really well. That was good. Yeah, that's that's a tough room. Um, this is swag coming up here. Yeah, these are some sword cancels and sword flies through the rest of this level. The first half of this level I hate. The second half I love. Um, so that one, nice. that one's pretty good. Hope. All right, I was gonna say hopefully elites don't spawn here, but they did, of course. That affects my camo patterns a little bit. Hopefully they don't turn around. All right, they didn't. That is good. All right. They did turn around, but they were too slow. And then uh, as soon as I get it back here, I'll camo again to skip running past these guys. Hopefully I get a checkpoint right here. I should. I did not. Uh, then you have to clear out this room. There's a lot of room. Oh, I did get a checkpoint. Sweet. I was gonna sword fly, but he ride him. <laughs> That's funny. Don't be behind me. 
they assass blood assa everything assassinates you really easily. If you get touched in the back as Master Chief, you pretty much die. I don't know how they overlooked that vulnerability of a suit, but his back is just extremely vulnerable. Return to the landing zone. And just pinpricks shatter his back. Cut this station loose and scare the heretic from his hole. This is where the level starts to get really good. Get out of my way. None of them fall, rode with me. Earlier, one of them rode up the elevator with me and almost killed me. That was, that was interesting. I'm gonna be, I'm gonna try a strategy that saves no time at all, but it looks really cool to do. It, the only problem is, it's actually risky. Um, and I haven't even gotten to it yet, I'm almost dead. So, all right, let's do it anyway. Yep, YOLO strats. So hit, hitting that cable from the front will actually whiplash you <laughs> all the way to this cable. And that'd be really cool if it saved time. The only problem is they're on a timer that is dealed with audio dialogue. So you can't actually damage this one until he's done talking. So, oh, no. oh I'm glad I turned around. <laughs> I'm just going to run to the other one. Yeah, He hasn't said, oh, I guess I skipped the dialogue. I, I still would have had to wait the same time, but the dialogue never happened. Um, but the wait is still there, even if the dialogue gets skipped. We do actually have a couple of prizes during this run. If for a minimum donation amount of $10, you can get a Halo Play Arts action figure. And if you donate $20 during this run, you can get an Xbox 60 game package with Halo 4, Gears of War 3, uh, Dead Rising 3, and some other games as well. So make sure you get your donations in for to be eligible for those prizes. All right, so that room is risky to do with the cable cut, but it went well. I lost like five seconds. Not too bad. So basically what just happened in the story is that uh, the cables of this space station were cut, so it's falling uh, through the atmosphere. And a funny thing is if you jump during that section, you'll actually get stuck on the ceiling and die. You fly away. It's yeah. really annoying. And it, I, don't, I don't know if it was intentional or not, but it, it ruins casual plays. There's, oh, man, that's, I'm going to have to sword cancel. That's a really bad checkpoint, I think. Let's see. That checkpoint's atrocious, but I think I did all right. Ooh, I'm going to have to wait for enemies here, though. All right, let's see. You're in a good spot. It, let's it. do it. Oh, no. Oh, no. no. All right. I might not be able to go for this strat that looks really cool because of this atrocious checkpoint. Oh, okay, that was good. That, that, was good. that made up for it. I should be able to go for it now. Yeah, here we go. All right, all the way through that room. Nice. nice. Yeah, that, that's a bottomless pit, so if you miss that, then you're dead. Um, that, you, that three seconds of Banshee flying is so entertaining. I don't know why they thought that was necessary. It, it's a cutscene, it's a like 10 second Banshee section or something, and then it's another cutscene. And during the cutscene, during the second one, it blows up. So the Banshee literally lasts for like 15 seconds, or 10 to 15 seconds or something like that. I know I just raged it three times, three, 10, 15, who knows. But it's somewhere in there. It, it's short. Uh, not in that cutscene, it was earlier in the last level, but it's the same area, it's just the other level. Yeah, I should have mentioned, um, basically the end part of this level is backtracking through parts of the last level. Um, so it's just doing the same thing but in reverse. Which is kind of a tradition with Halo, I guess. And Halo this, 1, I mean, reuses level geometry all the time. This was the section that gave me trouble in the previous level, if you guys remember. But it's much easier going backwards. This is the hardest section of this level, and things can go wrong here. But I think I got good enemy spawns. <laughs> that, that was pretty fun. Uh, looks like the enemies were nice. There's going to be a couple needler grunts here that are going to die. We're good. Didn't even get shot. You, no one would believe me. That was hard. But I, that, I promise that's a hard section. <laughs> and this is the first real boss fight of this game. Um, the boss fights in Halo 2 are awful. All of them. Um, they're all just bad. Uh, this one is actually my favorite of the three, but there's a few glitches that can happen with the guy being invincible for like 30 seconds that can just waste time. But so this heretic leader, he flies up to these pods, and you're not supposed to get up there, but with sword flying, you can get here early. And then he's actually invincible until he finishes this dialogue. So I'll camo. And then I'll kill him as soon as he's as soon as he's vulnerable again, and hope that he flies back in. Okay, it looks like he did. Sometimes he'll just fly around outside and be stupid, but he was nice. 
this facility. So he'll spawn in any of these random four, so I'll keep going back to the middle platform to choose which one he goes to. What was the result? All that time and effort, and the best the four of us could do was put these foul creatures on ice. We have a $50 donation from that 808 guy. Shoutouts to PB and Jace, and a request for everyone in the room to high five each other. Let's do this. <laughs> Even the runner get out. Good luck on a Halo. I am long due to donate during these live events. I am glad it's for a fantastic cause. I got you. Come on, I saved the cat. Come on. I got you. <laughs> yeah, this is what the rest was like. Yeah, he's still invincible, but on, on this last one, it doesn't matter, so I'll just beat him. I'll just beat him to a pulp. Alright, he died. We did it. Nice. Alright. Alright. This, this is, is the most hype level. Yeah. This is actually my favorite level of the game. It's got a nice variety of tricks. And it's a it's kind of the second half is really tough. The first half not so much. Yes, he was still kind of spinning, um, but Bungie isn't real strict about barriers in this uh, level, so you can just kind of walk up the slope and jump right out of the map. So these, these high-definition trees right here, <laughs> next-generation graphics. I mean, it is, it is running at 60 FPS. Yeah. No, it's 30. I'm pretty sure. I don't think. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it's 30. The original Xbox doesn't run at 60 FPS. Oh. Yeah. And this uh, this game is really good for exploration and kind of glitching and stuff because all of these out of bounds areas are modeled. Like I know in a lot of games, you'll see you'll fall through the map or stuff like that. Here, they're all modeled. They're all explorable. Like some of those mountains in the distance, like that mountain, you can actually climb up there um, <laughs> if you spend enough time to go around all of the the other mountains. It takes and, a while. Uh, yeah. Yeah. It, it takes a few minutes to get there. But I, what I, kind of need a goat. Yeah. What I did just now was I walked down and triggered those jackal snipers and then walked back up because there's a few required enemy spawns that you have to hit um, to complete the level. So coming up, I'm going to be doing the first ghost launch, which vehicle launching is kind of difficult. It's actually a really tough trick. I'm only going to try it once. If I miss it, then it should only waste about 45 seconds, but I'm not going to miss it. So we're just going to get go. ready. Yeah. <laughs> Wait for some shields. No oh. way. Oh. I missed it. That's that's unfortunate. I haven't missed that all week. Actually, I missed it once, but all like all week I've been doing that. I'm thinking about going for it again. Yeah, it, it's cool enough. It's it. cool enough to go again. Do it. 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 <laughs> that was a really strange one. Yeah, that one that one was really weird. Yeah, I've never seen it happen like that. You always do a bunch of front flips. Yeah. It happens a lot to me, but <laughs> apparently not to anyone else. Yeah. That's that's unfortunate. It, just play Xbox. Yeah, it's not too big of a time loss because I'm already back here, but it is unfortunate to miss because there isn't a close checkpoint here. I'm actually gonna blow up that ghost because I don't want these guys getting in it and following me. Alright, take two. Oh, too close. Let's back that up. Alright, line up. That's close. Oh, oh, oh no. 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 Alright, well there's another glitch I'm going to do. Unfortunately, I didn't hit the ghost launch. I'm a little bit disappointed, but there's another cool glitch that is only a few seconds slower. At this point, it would have been faster to do it, but it, it doesn't look as cool as the ghost launch. Man, I didn't miss that all week. The marathon struck. The marathon look, man. All right. Ugh. But yeah, uh, also, going up outside of the map like this uh, despawns a couple of tanks that are supposed to be on the far ledge shooting at you, um, which is actually really useful when you're attempting that launch and when you're um, doing the strat that he's about to do as well. So I... I used to do this strat a lot in my runs. I think my personal best actually does this strat, which is to hit this button through the wall, which you're not supposed to do. You're supposed to go inside and have to fight a bunch of enemies. But since I didn't come in the first time, you have to hit it twice. Once to raise the bridge to trigger that it's been raised, and then to lower it. Um, and then you have to wait for it to reach all the way down, which isn't that long, but I really would have liked to get the launch. That's all the time it saves right there. Oh, that's bad. 
Hopefully he doesn't boost off the map. All right. Uh, okay, not too bad. I'm gonna kill him though, because if I run away from him, there's a chance he can hit the gas tank on the ghost. The gas tank is that small circle that you see on the left side of the ghost. If enemies hit that with their plasma weapons, they kill you pretty much one hit. It's really annoying. So you usually try to keep enemies to your back right rather than your back left be because of that. This is another difficult section of this level. The launch and this section are the main two parts that I'm worried about. It's really RNG dependent on where the ghosts spawn and how many spawn. So I got two up top, which is actually a good thing if, uh, if none spawn below. Um, I expect to die uh, at least once, usually, <laughs> but not like that. That's, that's just slow. But this, this section's really tough. I got no ghost spawns up top, which means I will get two or three down here, which it, it all depends on how you play it, which one's luckier. But that's not terrible. You still got to get out of the precise time to get this. All right, we're in there. That's good. That's not too bad. So like I said, I will die, but a lot of the deaths have uh, checkpoints that are very close intentionally. So I take risky strats, but I go for checkpoints as well. So it bounces out. These strats are actually very risky. Um, I'm grabbing the Envy Skull right here. The Envy Skull, there's several Easter eggs hidden in this game called Skulls. The Envy Skull is pretty much the only helpful one. It makes Master Chief have the ability to camouflage like the Arbiter, like we said earlier. And that'll come in very valuable towards the end of this run, and even in this level. I missed that sword cancel, so that's a little bit unfortunate. But I can attempt it again. And the strategy behind this is actually really cool. Um, there you go. Since you can't actually target... Oh. No, nah, that's good. That's fine. Yeah. Since you can't actually target invisible enemies, um, what he does is he melees it, and then uh, it decloaks for just enough time that he can uh, use it to sword cancel. Sweet. Hudless. Nice. Nice. <laughs> So, um, I don't know if uh, you guys uh, could tell, but there was no HUD during that section because it's like uh, one of the level chapters, um, so the title pops up and the HUD fades out. So getting a sword flying doing that during that is actually a little bit harder. Yeah. You have to really know where the enemy is, which that one's actually through a tree, so you can't even see the enemy, and you can't see your aimer, yeah. so you just kind of have to know. But that one's fun to hit. This one's also really fun, it looks cool. I grabbed frags here. Oh, come on. There we go. There it is. <laughs> He's just about to snipe you. Like, you have barely enough time to get there. So this is where the camo comes in handy that I just grabbed. And I missed, of course. That's not terrible. It's, it's just a little bit of a detour. I got to kill this guy a little bit differently. Right, that's is. the end of this level, though. So have you ever done a run on Legendary with maybe the blind skull on? I've done a run with all skulls on. As far as, or not, a, not actually a run, but I've beaten every level with all skulls on. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah, it's a category uh, called Slosso. Um, solo, Legendary, all skulls on. Which is, oh sweet, I got nice. it. Nice, very nice, yes. I'm really glad I got that. That's one of the harder tricks in this game. It's really precise sword canceling and sword flying to get here. You're not ever supposed to be on this gondola. You're supposed to get on that gondola, which as you can see, it's moving really slowly. And, but first you're supposed to fight a bunch of enemies on this platform, which includes like 10 jackal snipers. And then a phantom will come over and drop off some hunters. You can actually see it flying overhead in just a second. Let's see, where's it gonna come from? It'll be here in a second. And you have to kill the hunters, there it is. And you have to kill a bunch of enemies, and then finally, this one will start coming towards you. And then you have to ride this one all the way back over there. But I can intercept it halfway, and this saves like five to 10 minutes or something, depending on how you play this section. It's, it's a lot of time. I don't actually know exactly because I don't do that strat, so I haven't timed it. But then you jump to this gondola. This is the one you're supposed to be on. <coughs> so I can hit the trigger to start it, which is just this button over here. And then kill the enemies that will spawn on this, which are supposed to be killed near that tower back there. All right, I missed a little bit, but. I gotta hide because I missed the elites. I thought about shooting him in the body. If I would have body shot at him, he would have fell off of the gondola. Is that everybody? No, it's not. Oh, what? Yeah, he is. he's hiding from me. All right, there he goes. He's dead. Uh, that make so there's some bugs that were going to come up and get me. After I get all those dead, it doesn't matter. that The gondolas are moving again. They're just kind of slow. You can hear the music kind of glitch out here because uh, it doesn't know what music file to play because you're not on the gondola you're supposed to be on. 
And actually, the reason that he had to sword cancel onto the original gondola is because when he gets to that platform, um, that gondola good. takes off. Like, it leaves very quickly. Um, so by the time he's there, it's already halfway gone. So this is a new trick that I just started putting into my runs yesterday. It's not that difficult. I think it looks really cool. Um, but it's new. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be doing a sword fly off this ramp, and you'll actually keep your trajectory when you hit a ramp. So hopefully I can fly up to the top of this tower. I'm going to re revert to checkpoint to try again, because I want the angle to be steep enough. There we go. Nice. So I'll fly up to this tower, and then hopefully land right on it. There we go. Sick. Nice. 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 And that'll, that'll prevent a lot of these guys from spawning, so I can actually get behind them. So I'll trigger the spawn, and then I'll jump up here, which being in this little cave will prevent a whole bunch of uh, drones from spawning. They're the little bugs that fly around with plasma pistols. They are extremely annoying to kill. So sta that is a really nice yeah, standing in the spot prevents them. And I already have the dialogue running, which is really fast. Yeah. But there are two That's snipers really down here that I have to kill now, so I gotta hope they don't kill me. All right, Ooh. we in there. He almost got me. Yeah. He almost got me. All right, so that went well. Right. So now I have a trick inspired by the great Trihex. Hoping for the nade drop. Some of you guys may, might remember the strat where you ground pound off the map on one of the boss battles in Yoshi's Island. I saw him do that, and I figured there's got to be something cool you can do similar in Halo, right? So then I remembered this. If you get out of the gondola and run around here a little bit, you can run over here and jump off the map, and hopefully I timed it good enough that I'll there teleport it in. <laughs> Just looks cool. <laughs> yeah, say anything. Got to do the swag. Try X inspires people. Got to get the APM too. Just click, click buttons during cutscenes. BX, BX, BX. 100 APM. Hotel catches on fire. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> fire low percent. Don't say that. <laughs> everything was. <laughs> but everything was fine until the, the fire nation attack. Yeah, it's five degrees outside and I'm in shorts and a t-shirt. Let's please not <laughs> get stuck outside. Wait, hold on. At least what? you have shoes on. Yeah, at least yeah. you're wearing <laughs> shoes. Can't say you're over here. No shoes. So yeah, this. Yeah. Well. Right. So yeah, this entire part is like an auto scroller, um, and it actually tends to lead to grab and burn because and uh, of the way the draw distance is underwater. So hopefully it doesn't show up too bad. It will. It's going to show up right around this corner. You'll like pretty much when I go into this room, a big burn will pop up. Hopefully it's not too large, like Reed said, but it's pretty much going to show up. Oh, did it really not? That's crazy. Nice. Oh, and that's and a god like yeah. Swordfly, too. And Swordfly is really fun to hit, but I'm really, it might show up right here. I don't know. I'm really surprised we didn't get a bigger burn. Usually they're much bigger at this point. And I, no, I, don't, I don't see one. Yeah. All right. Let's see. So I shoot the hunter there to slow him down just enough so I can squeeze through the door before they uh, make it all the way through so the door doesn't close. All right. I was going to Swordfly for of these guys, but they're in a terrible position. Um, at least I was going to attempt to sword fly their camo. Why is he not dead? Um, so they have the... They have like a half a second that you can sword fly off of them while they're figuring out that they're camouflaged. Kind of like what I did to the one that I meleeed and sword flew off of. So you have a very brief window that you can <laughs> use to... Um, MLG, right there. Um, Basically, like while they're spawning, um, they, they have to go through the camo animation. Um, and so, at the beginning of that animation, you have a couple of, uh, a, a very brief period where you can sort of fly off of them. Isn't it like 15 frames or something? Yeah, yeah uh, it, it's really short. It's, yeah. This elevator isn't as cool as the other one, but it does teleport you in just as the other one. You can't do anything cool on this one, because if you run away too far, it actually won't start moving, unlike the other one. And this is another waiting point of this level. I really wish they would have added cool things out in the water. The only thing that's cool that ever happens the whale. is sometimes there's fish, and the fish, ha the, the fish have no collision. Oh, here they come. Get hype. And sometimes they'll swim right through your pod. Ah, uh, one swim. Oh, there it is. <laughs> <laughs> the fish hype. That's the only entertain entertaining thing you can do during these, like, 45-second pod rides. It's just like story exposition. Like, oh, there's a civil war. This alien is fighting that alien. I don't care about their civil war. I kill them all anyway. <laughs> or run past them, one of the two. It actually does figure into a skip in a later level. Yeah, it, it does. He's right. That's on Grave Mind. Mm -hmm. 
Hmm. The end of the level's coming up, and this is the hardest level in the game. Uh, the, the end of the level is the hardest part of this game. It's really tough. I have a couple consistency checkpoints that I get that if I die, they won't waste much time, but I'm, I may die. Hopefully I don't. If I can get a first try regret fight, that'll be really good. But it's, there's a bunch of waves of Honored Guard Elites spawning that some of them have swords and some of them have plasma rifles, and both of them will ruin your day. Like, if either one of them are close to you, or the plasma rifle guys don't even have to be close to you, but if the sword guys are close to you, you're going to die. And Regret flies around as you're punching him, so he'll sometimes just fly around and drop you off, and you have no control over where he's flying. So he'll just drop you off next to enemies and you'll die. You'll see what I mean by fly around when I get there, if you guys aren't familiar. But I have to wait for Banshees to spawn here. Luckily, the rockets in this game have an auto-lock feature, so they can lock onto a Banshee, so hitting them isn't too hard. But they are, they shoot really quickly, and once they start hitting you, you're pretty much dead, so you gotta be careful not to get hit. And then, I'll waste a couple rockets right here, they're not complete wastes, but I'll be shooting them at this gondola to try to lure the enemies out. Um, they're not meant to actually kill anything, they're just to lure the enemies. And then, it should scare the grunts enough that they drop their weapons, and it should make it where I'm not gonna die. I've got one of them. Ah, uh, I can't snipe. Where's my MLG? Oh, and he didn't drop his weapon. Oh, I'm not MLG. The ogre twitch needs to happen. I'm gonna... What's up? I have no idea what you're saying. Alright, there we go. That wasn't terrible. As long as I don't die there. I have no idea what you're saying, Reed. Oh, I was at service. Oh, yeah. so, someone was saying something. I'm, I don't know. I don't mind chatter on the couch. Don't feel like I'm telling you guys to stop. I thought you were talking to me, though. I'd rather hype than no hype. Silent rooms aren't that fun. Yeah. yeah. So this part, the um, the risky strat is just to kind of sword fly up there when enemies run out. But that puts you in the middle of a bunch of enemies. And uh, it also removes the ability for you to get the consistency checkpoint that he was talking about. So it's a safer strat to kill all these guys. I snipe so much better with the beam rifle than I do this snipe. I actually lost all my other So like, like you said, I could be over there right now if I sword fly, but I'm not going to. Uh, actually, I can go off of this guy. Uh, that's, oh, I, thought you I almost fell off, but yeah. We in there. We have a $150 donation from Goat Rope. Nice. Hey, Monopoly. Hey, Monopoly, it's Goat Rope. I woke up to watch this. Good luck. Awesome. Looking Congrats forward to record, uprising. Dude. Keep representing Halo Crew. Goat Rope's an awesome guy. He's the guy that I said runs Halo 1. He has the legendary record right now. So getting a wide elite there is actually really unlucky. So I had to play this a little bit safer than I wanted. Um, wide elites, like I said earlier, they have the strongest uh, health of anyone. Um, so I had to play a little bit safe, but it's all right. I should get a checkpoint right here, I think. Did I already get one? I wasn't actually paying attention. All right, I got one. There we go. So that's one of my consistency checkpoints. I'll come back for another one shortly. But this guy's regret. He floats around in a magic floating chair or something or another. Not really sure how his technology works. But you can't shoot him and damage him. You have to come up to him, board him, and punch him in the head. So at, you do this a few times, and then he disappears. So you usually get five or so hits on him. It doesn't really matter. It's five cycles to kill regret. So you do this five times. On the first two cycles, he's usually pretty easy. And then by the third cycle, more waves of enemies spawn. And when that happens, oh no, he's going to drop me off. Don't do it. All right, I got, I got to jump. That's good. <laughs> so like I said, he'll just fly into um, random sorted elites, and as soon as he disappears, you're stuck, and you're going to stand next to him. Um, and that, that gets really unfortunate. I like it much better when he's higher, because I can kind of adjust where I'm going to land. What about the in invincibility glitch? Yeah, oh, also there's a chance that Regret can turn invincible and not be able to be killed. So let's hope that doesn't happen. <laughs> uh, I think it's caused by sword flying to him, and I haven't done any sword flies to him. So I went back for a checkpoint again. So I won't find out he's regret until the fifth hit, and by that time, I already have two checkpoints. All right. And 
you can only realistically, you can go back a lot of checkpoints until the white screen right before this area, but it takes a long time to do. So if I get, a, if I get him <laughs> in, invincible, then I'm going to have to save and quit and start up the next level. But this is the end of this level, so it's not like I'm skipping anything. It's on the fifth hit, it's the last hit, and you know he's going to die, he just doesn't. So it's, yeah. it's basically a soft lock. It's really annoying. But this is the fifth hit, and it, if I get this, I got a first try regret, which would have been pretty much perfect. Sweet, he died. Nice. That's great. Regret actually turns into a plasma pistol. And that is like one of the three hardest parts in the entire game. Yeah, so. That went really, really well. Yeah, yeah. that went almost yeah. perfectly. Uh, the cat savior. <laughs> cat savior. I needed the cat savior. <laughs> Runs over. Runs canceled. Everyone go home. The cat savior's gone. <laughs> this level is a lot of running through corridors. It's it's very reminiscent of the library of Halo One, if you remember. It's got a lot of flood fighting. And it's got a lot of running through things. And the library was an awful level on Halo 1, so I guess they figured they needed to bring it back into Halo 2, <laughs> because this level is just as awful. No, not quite. <laughs> it's not as repetitive. Yeah, it's not as re uh, It kind of is. It's not quite as repetitive, maybe. Goat Rope sum summed up library pretty well one time on a stream. He said <coughs> they needed a way to extend the game, so they put a bunch of gray walls in um, Flood, and that wasn't long enough, so they just repeated the level three or four times. So all of the library is just gray walls and Flood. At least this one, you get a little bit more scenery. And you have the speed trick of shooting those before you get to them. Yeah, that's um, on legendary. You actually have to shoot them. Yeah. Uh, on, oh, yeah. Yeah. On easy, you can go up to them and hold X and make them activate. I don't know why. Actually, my first playthrough, I didn't know you had to shoot them, and it took me forever to get. Oh yeah, I got stuck here too. Yeah, it's it's not real obvious that you have to shoot these things. Um, and it's, you just get kind of confused. This one, I have to hit all four of these while this enforcer's flying around trying to kill me. You don't actually have to kill him, though. A lot of people think you do, but as soon as you hit this button, it takes about five seconds, but he'll just pop. He just blows up. <laughs> so that, thing, too. He's about to kill you. Yeah, he was about to kill me watching him, but... He, I don't know why that happens, but everyone in this room just dies as soon as the elevator starts. There's a lot of fun stuff you can do trick-wise on this level. Yeah, this level's huge for tricking. All of these high places you see up here have actually been explored by launches. You can, and actually the bottom of the map too, way down there, using fall, <coughs> fall timer tricks and just tons of crazy tricks are in this game, all the way over there, at, everywhere you can get to with crazy tricks. So have you ever ran this game solo holy backwards? Solo what? Holy backwards. I have not. No, I don't think I've ever heard of that. Um, you're not allowed to move forward. You have to be looking back. <laughs> oh, oh wait, Slinky, Slinky did that for Halo 1, right? Oh, that sounds awful. <laughs> didn't, didn't, <laughs> didn't, uh, didn't Slinky do a run like that for Halo 1? I'm not a big fan of joke categories. Like, there's no jump runs yeah. and no pacifist. death runs and pacifist runs and stuff like that. I don't, I'm not a big fan of them myself. I see why people find them entertaining, but I just want to play the game and go fast. The game's hard enough as it is. Passivision isn't necessarily a joke, especially in some levels. Yeah. Jump off of him. Oh, I wanted to get oh, the jump. It doesn't, it doesn't really save much time, but it's a little bit safer sometimes. Here's, oh, that here's one of those big oh, birds we were talking about. It, it'll go away once I get a little bit lower in this level. As you can see, it fades in and out with the draw distance. So, like, we think that's what it has to do with, something to do with the rendering. It's a backwards uh, compatibility glitch with uh, 360. So. Luckily, purely visual. Yeah, the only difference between the 360 and the, Xbox, the original Xbox version are mostly visual. Nothing affects gameplay. I just like the controller better. Uh, that's why I play on the 360. And I don't own an original Xbox any longer. Mine died. Ah, oh, I camoed really late. That's not so good. Uh, they, they'll follow me. Hopefully, they don't kill me. I'm going to try to take some routing here so that they don't. Serpentine. Serpentine. <laughs> Yo, you got the jukes. Right. I got the jukes, man. Okay. Luckily, none of them spawned with a shotgun. If any of them would have had a shotgun, I would have been dead. But they were only pistols and SMGs. Just like goes to show you how much you have to adapt to play this I game. I shouldn't have cameled right there. Let's waste that. I don't know why I did that. Shooting wastes your camo. I need camo for this room coming up. I'm actually going to pause for it to come up. There we go. That's good enough. 
camoing early here prevents these guys from being alerted to you. And sometimes that guy I just walked past has a shotgun. And shotgun flutter, they, they're literally snipers. Like, th this guy has one too, but he shouldn't notice me. Um, As you jump on oh, his yeah. head. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> he, yeah. They, they still won't shoot. But they can shoot you from so far. It doesn't make any sense how the shotguns work. When I use a shotgun, I can't kill you from like three feet away. But then they use them and they can hit you from across the map. It's really annoying. Yeah, why is their AI so weird in there? I, I have no idea. It sounds like they're just better than you. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds about right. <clears throat> so yeah, this whole level is just like a guided tour of exposition. You still don't think this level is repetitive? <laughs> um, I didn't say it wasn't. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. I'm sure we're getting tired of this shooting walls simulator going on. What, what do we have next? More shooting walls. Oh, this part wow, is actually... Oh, big open room. That wall went upwards. Yeah. yeah. Can you guys guess what we're going to do in the next room, though? We're going to shoot some walls. <laughs> <laughs> so this part, actually, they, uh, they curved this uh, thing. Like, usually there's a fall timer. You can only fall so long um, before the game auto kills you. But uh, they curved it such that it doesn't trigger that. But there's a trick called corner riding, where you can actually ride the corners uh, all the way and actually uh, gain speed by doing so. And if you do that, it's actually possible to splatter yourself on the ground when you land. So that's why he doesn't do that. There's a, another way I can kill myself, interestingly, is a slide jump at the end of this tunnel. Oh, yeah. If I get, right into the if wall. I get red, wedged into the door as it lifts up, it'll kill me. So I'm not going to do a big slide jump. I'll slide a little bit. Let's see. Yeah, okay, so that's not bad. If you go too far, that thing will eat you. <laughs> <laughs> nice. nice. So, yeah. There's another Hudless. You see, he didn't have any HUD, so it's, it's a little bit harder. Come on, don't kill me. Oh, God. Oh. Oh. All right, I'm going to go for a different one that's a little bit safer. That one's the risky one that looks cool, but this one, this one also actually looks pretty cool. That's a little safer. Let's see. There we go. Oh, yeah. Nice. So he has to, to go back off. to uh, trigger the enemies here because you're supposed to come through that tunnel. So that's where the load trigger is. And if you don't kill these enemies, you can't beat the level. Come on. Don't do this oh. to me. I, I'm, st I'm still no, good. Just uh, fell over. Yeah, that guy literally, I didn't shoot right there. I honestly do not know how that guy died. I have no <laughs> idea. Like, An act of God. Yeah, literally just fell over and died. That was amazing, because <laughs> I was guaranteed to die right there. I was, I was just about to revert, and then somehow, somehow magically, he, he got scared. He knew what was coming to him. He knew. He just rolled over and died. Yeah, so I'm blowing up these turrets because your allies will get on them, and historically allies are useless, and they'll get you killed if they get on them because of rockets. The rocket flood will auto-aim on the turrets, um, and then they'll kill you because of splash damage. Come on. So now I just have to kill waves of enemies on this level. Yeah. Hey, and there's actually like an waves. audio cue when the next wave starts. You'll hear that like really uncomfortable shrieking noise. Yeah. Um, which is, uh, I guess, Bungie's sound people get paid not enough. Because <laughs> <laughs> it's terrible. It is pretty bad. I, like, Flood never make that noise other than on this level. So I don't know if it's actually the Flood doing it or what. But it is an awful noise. We'll hear it again right here. Hopefully. Maybe not. As the f there we go. It's a good noise. I think TMR made a noise like that in the lounge room the other <laughs> after the fire alarm. TMR makes some interesting noises. <laughs> it's like a drawn out cat. Yeah, it's just terrible. I wouldn't be surprised if they sampled a cat for that. Not quite close enough. They, uh, it's interesting, some of the voicing they do. All of the grunts are voiced by Joe Staten, and Joe Staten is actually like the lead story guy, or he was, uh, for Bungie when they made uh, the Halo games. So he's just like, I'm going to voice a character, and then he made the grunt. And same, so all those funny lines are for him. Same thing with Marty O'Donnell and Jason Jones. Marty O'Donnell is the sound lead, or he was for Halo 2, and he did a lot of voices. And Jason Jones was the project lead, and he does about half the voices in this game. Uh, so a lot of their voices were in-house, but the voice acting isn't that bad in this game for being an older game. A lot of older games have terrible voice acting. This one isn't terrible. I'm actually going to kill these guys because they annoy me. 
Not, not you, you get to live. You can't kill Halfjaw, but Halfjaw's the white one. But these blue ones will melee you and kill you, so they die. I don't like them. Halfjaw, the only reason he's useful is because, well, A, because he has a sword, and so he can actually uh, kill the fl flood relatively hey, quickly. They're riding each other. Stop that. Jeez. And, uh, and B, because uh, he's invincible, so they literally can't kill him. He's a story character, so he's not allowed to die in combat. Yeah. And so he'll actually draw some enemies away from me at points, which is good. Uh, we can probably read donations right here for the next minute or so. All right, I just want to let everyone know, too, this Halo 2 commentary is absolutely fantastic. And even though I'm not getting to donations, uh, we're, all, we're processing all of them, and they're all getting to where they need to go. So uh, one real quick here, uh, $229.61 from uh, Miss Neuro Fishbox. Looks like I won't be sleeping tonight thanks to an awesome Halo 2 speed, to speed run. Shoutouts to Halo 2 PC's optimization. Also, <laughs> also, I'll donate another $50 if everyone does the wave. Uh, where do you want to start? That was really bad. I can't lift her up because I'll knock this off. Oh, is that? Good job, Sweet. <laughs> uh, it's hard, I can't see you guys. <laughs> a lot of times Monopoly, when he's streaming, he's dying because he reads chat. Yeah. And so this time, I, I was joking with him beforehand, like, you're going to die because you turn around to talk to people. And he almost <laughs> died because he turned around to do the wave. Yeah, I, I did almost die. <laughs> Luckily, this level's almost over. Whenever this phantom gets here, the level ends. We can keep going with donation reading, though. The next part's just ghost driving. That's pretty much all it is. Okay, we have a $200 donation from Emily Y. My mother is, is a survivor of cancer, and through the donation of a close friend of mine, I just learned she wasn't as lucky and I was, as I was and lost to her to the horrible disease. I put this entire $200 to the naming of The Legend of Zelda, A Link to the Past, file name Hat. I know it sounds strange, but we have a tradition of being required to name anything Hat if one of us suggests it before the other chooses a name while on the name screen. Thank you very much for that. That's Sorry great. for your loss. Uh, $129 from Marler. Thanks to AGDQ for suggesting a few potential band names. Damage Boost, Hitbox, and Death Abuse. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty good. Don't forget Luck, mani luck Manipulation. Oh, no. That sounds like an indie band. Trigger skip? Yeah. So I'm doing, I'm going through some ghost sections here pretty quick. I'm actually going to wait because there's a scorpion attached to a pelican and they'll, he'll fly around and snipe you with this scorpion. And it's really ridiculous. I don't know why that exists, but it one hits you. Um, so yeah, dropship carrying a tank with a cannon on it, firing all around the map. Yeah. Um, what I did there, oh wow, I thought, oh, I, wow. I, thought I got it. Um, I'm going to have to kill him this time, I think. Let's see if I can, yeah, I'm going to have to kill him. I did that to avoid these guys killing me. Okay, they both dropped their weapons, that's fine. But Rocket Flood in this game lock on instantly. They don't have to wait like the two and a half second delay like I do whenever I shoot people with rockets. So they just, as soon as they see you, they fire and they lock onto you. So I tried to camo to prevent them from being able to lock onto me, but I was just a little bit late on it. And so that happened. Luckily there's a checkpoint right before, so it's not major. Also, this game is good. Yeah, yeah. Dude, Steve Vai did Steve the guitar Vi, for this, yeah. and so Steve Vai is a legendary guitarist. Can we get a roll call really quick for the uh, the couch crew and the runner here? I'm Mr. Monopoly. I'm Zimbabwe. I'm kind of hiding behind him. <laughs> I'm Blue Glass. Reed Tiburon. Striking. All right. Oh, that guy was laying on you. <laughs> the, this, this part's been giving me a little bit of trouble in practice, so it's going, it's going pretty well. I have that one death. Um, which was a short death. The rest of the level can really troll me. And there's enemy spawns that sometimes they spawn and sometimes they don't. If they don't spawn, you can't complete the level. So you gotta really hope that they exist. But this, this is the last one that's required for the level and I hit it, so we are good, hopefully. There, I can still die at this point, but at least I know the enemies are here. All right, we're good. No. A lot of the problems from this level actually stem from the fact that He's taking a ghost past points where you're supposed to get out and you're intended to walk the distance. And so there's a lot of boxes and debris and ghost physics are really bad. So you get stuck on a lot of stuff. You flip a lot. All right. 
I did not get the bad turret. Nice. Oh, I kind of did. Oh, yeah, oh. I, I, did, I did get the bad turret. I thought he didn't, but I can prevent this one. The other one, there's two turret spawns that can happen, or a few, but two major ones. One can spawn right where I'm driving right now, and that'll ruin everything. What? what was that? That was a rocket that hit me. He sniped me with his rocket, so I'm going to have to get out in camo right here, which I would never have to do, uh, but... I I was nice camoed. Shot. I was camoed and somehow he still managed to hit me with the ray. So let's go a little faster, I guess. That's He oh, shot it before you. Yeah, he out, is. Yeah. That's, that's just that's, unlucky then, that's because we already released that shot. Literally never happened before. There we can check that check <laughs> that one up to off. that's never happened percent. Yeah. Oh that my that, God, that, dude. that does happen, but in there. Nah. That was that was unlucky. The level went pretty well though. Okay, so this is the largest auto scroller of this game. It's this not, is the part that shouldn't exist. Yeah, it's about five minutes long, but luckily you don't have to kill enemies like you're supposed to. You just have to wait on this elevator for five minutes and you're supposed to kill things. But the, the gondola isn't designed very well, so you can just kind of jump around and get above the map on it. So you're not supposed to be inside this. As you can kind of see, it's really <laughs> weird looking. I'm actually standing inside of it. If you crouch, you lose complete physics though, and that sucks. So I'm now on top of the map and no one can shoot me. But one of my, I was talking to people online, and I was like, what can I do during these five minutes of downtime? I don't want just donation reading, because that's not exciting. So somebody actually sent me a present online. Anakade, he's somebody that frequents my stream. I've known him for a few years. He sent me a present. I have no idea what it is. It's but the mystery box. I, I have a box. And I'm, spo I'm supposed to open this box during this section. <laughs> so I have no idea what's in here. We're going to we, hope it's not sex toys. No, I, it feels really light. I've it been told like it's appropriate. It's like, it weighs like a pound. Box on I got it, I think. Yeah. Thanks, though. Yeah, is the box on camera? I don't, we have a box here. Yeah, there, there's the camera. Yeah, okay. Let's hope there's things in it. Let's see, what do we got going on here? <laughs> it's the first thing for choking. If anyone, if anyone can't see, is a poster for the Heimlich maneuver to prevent choking. <laughs> also, conveniently in Spanish. Because <laughs> he's from Texas, so yeah. it makes sense. For the All right. record, the chat was guessing sex toys. <laughs> <laughs> Even after you pulled out the poster. <laughs> all right, is that, is that all we have in here? Okay, that's, yeah, that's great. Away. Thanks a lot, Anakid. That's, that's, that's awesome. awesome. That's Anakid is an awesome dude. <laughs> and uh, it's interesting because, like, before, uh, when we actually went to pick this thing up, and we didn't open it, so we didn't know what it was, uh, but we could tell that there, it was really light. So I guessed it, that it was just a printed out sheet of paper with a giant kappa on it. <laughs> <laughs> and that's pretty close, I guess. Yeah. This is, this is better. better. This that is was, much this better. Was, this was much better. That's amazing. Uh, Anna Cade, you were supposed to be sending me something through phone also right now to entertain me, but my phone just died, so we will not get to see that. I don't yeah, know. Yeah, no what mystery we'll text. I was supposed to get like a mystery picture or something. I'm not really sure what it was. He doesn't. He didn't explain these things. He just told me that he would what give me something to do <laughs> during these five minutes. What kind of charger? Uh, I don't. It won't have time to recharge. My phone takes forever. Will this pop off? Uh, no. Nah. Just plug in right there. Oh, sweet. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> Fucking the charger and the whole marathon shuts down. <laughs> that would be awful. Say that. <laughs> Don't say that. Right. We can read donations right here, though. Cause yeah, donations. Yeah. Okay. We have a $100 donation from Euler, uh, Euler RM. This Halo run, to, this Halo 2 run is fantastic. Mad props to Mono. Uh, we have a $60 donation from X4555. Halo 2 was the first FPS I ever played, and speed runs of the game are always fun to watch. Finish the fight. We have a $50 donation from that aura guy. Hey, nice. Monopoly, awesome run so far. Keep up with the sword swag and get the hype juices flowing. Here's yeah. to a deathless regret fight and those specter strats. Yeah, there you go. Shoutouts to the secret tech, critiquing your every move, <laughs> Kappa. <laughs> and much love to the Halo speedrunning community. Yeah, Aura is an awesome guy. He's a fellow Halo runner. You can keep going. Oh, yeah. okay, cool. We, we still have, we, this, we still got about a minute left. Oh, cool. Uh, we have a $50 donation from uh, Maxwell M. Halo 2 is such a fantastic game. Seeing it played this well is like watching a whole other game. Thanks for doing this for such a good cause, and I hope you meet your time goal. 
I have just been informed we are now beating League of Legends. <laughs> These are the real esports, we all know it. Yeah. Come on, son. I was going to do riskier strats, where I jump to that one. It only saves a few seconds, but I only have one grenade, so I have one opportunity at it. And if I miss it, it's five and a half minutes of waiting on this again. So we are, we are not going Go to be going it. for that. <laughs> I believe in you. I'm not doing it. Mom spaghetti. I was scared. Granny strats. Granny strats are right. Get your Trihex subscribers, put your granny strats in, in the chat. <laughs> All right. So that's the safe method. It's only a few seconds slower, but it's definitely worth doing with only one grenade. If I had two, I would have gone for it. In my practice runs, I was going for it, and I haven't missed it this week. And missed the other. The yeah, the ghost. Yeah, yeah that's, that's one of the reasons the ghost trick was still in my mind. It, it like, hesitates. It's to looming say it. on me. I almost hit it. You guys saw what would have happened. It, it counts. It counts. <laughs> it counts. <laughs> right. It's so refreshing to see these gray walls. Yeah. All right. So this is a trick that is uh, really exploitative of the Envy Skull that I got earlier in the run. So I get a checkpoint with the camouflage already activated, which I can do at the very start of the level. And then, oops, I started it up too quick. Uh, then I go back to the dashboard uh, after making that trigger, and this will turn off the Envy Skull. Doing that, uh, now the game, well, how do I get, Oh, you don't what? have to actually reset the system on 360? No, I don't know why it logged me out, though. But that's weird. OK. Time loss. <coughs> what is going on? I got to. <laughs> Come on. Usually it takes you straight to dashboard. I wonder why it's doing this. I blame your Maybe Xbox. Could, yeah, oh, Link, Link's isn't here. But on my Xbox, it doesn't do this. He mu oh, he must not have auto sign in on or something. Oh, awesome. Oh. That will be so coming see what shortly. the text is. Yeah, I'll get to see what the secret message is whenever it shows up. My phone takes a couple minutes to get my old texts that were off. But like I was saying, so going to the dashboard while having a checkpoint camouflaged as Master Chief. So it's kind of a precise a chain of events. Because you're not really supposed to camo as Master Chief unless you have the Envy Skull. So whenever you go to the dashboard, it turns it off. And the game forgets that you ever had Envy Skull activated. Um, so it also gets rid of the cancellation of the camouflage. So during this entire next level, I'll actually be camouflaged, and it'll let me run through tons of places that you couldn't normally run through on Legendary. Most people will remember this as one of the hardest levels in the game. But doing uh, the in infinite camo glitch is what most people call it. It makes it, it's still difficult because there's some hard tricks on the second half, but you're much less likely to die, which is great for marathon strats. Let's hope, let's hope I did it right. Yeah, there was actually some debate about this one because it is a save and quit glitch, and you know, is it in the spirit of a run? And we have actually decided, uh, you know, whatever. RTA. Still, yeah, it, yeah, it's yeah, RTA. It's now RTA rather than single segment technically. But even reverting the last checkpoint re gets rid of single segment. If you speedrunners will know the difference. They're just pedantic terms that don't really matter. You just run the run the game, make it go fast, and have fun. Yeah, save glitch is out of bounds. Wow, real mature. <laughs> <laughs> That's a portal reference for any of you portal runners. It, yes, it is possible on both versions of the game. But in the original, since there's no dashboard, um, you have to turn off and on Xbox, which is about the same time, really. Um, the main thing is that long load screen. Yeah, the load screen's the longest point, which load times are terrible when you load the level for the first time. But in-game, you've noticed that there's actually no load screens between levels because it preloads as the levels are going, uh, which is really cool. So you don't have to wait on load screens. Now time to skip like five waves of enemies. Yep, Blue Glass is right. What you're doing here is if I, I use these lights to line myself up and standing in a very precise spot. Hopefully, I will skip two waves of enemies, which will be in total four brutes and eight grunts. And it'll skip straight to the ending of, or the middle of this room. And I'll do this twice, hopefully, to skip all four waves. But the second skip is much harder than the first. And it doesn't save that much time on the second time. So it won't be a big deal if I miss it. But you just wait here for a few seconds. And then grunts will pop up. And that's how you know you got it. So I, I did get the skip. It's really precise. So that was nice. Really, that precise? I got it playing casually. Well, playing casually? You don't even get back there, casually. Oh, that's God Gamer. God Gamer. Well, um, what's kind of interesting is you actually can't get back there normally. I'm leaving this grunt alive to do the next skip while these brutes spawn from above. These doors are red. You're not supposed to be able to go into them. So you'll see for me to open the door, I'll have to walk into the corner um, right here to trigger the door. And then you have to walk around to get in. Oh. Yeah. 
was wondering about that. I don't. I just hmm. went in and then. All right. There we go. And I think <laughs> playing on legendary and hiding. <laughs> <laughs> I think. Uh, yeah, you you actually do end up hiding in here in casual playthroughs. He might not be lying. He's probably. <laughs> <laughs> because, um, all right. So I got both skips. That's really good. Nice. The, the, grunt, good. the grunt stadium gets got. I don't think you got that once in practice. Yeah. I, I have been messing that up all week, so that's really good that to see. Prophet, yeah. Truth, he has the index. You've got what to take it. What part of the precise is kind of hard to tell? Oh, the place you stand is what matters. Because it's um, basically on top of a spawn point, and uh, the game won't spawn enemies uh, if you are too close to them, um, because it doesn't want them to spawn right on top of you, basically. So right the, the positioning inside that place is where it's, it's between a bunch of spawn points. Yeah, so it, it doesn't choose a good place to put them, so it's just like eventually, well, we can't put them, let's move on. Mm -hmm. So that's what happened. <laughs> yeah, basically. Infinite camel makes this so much easier. Yeah. I actually do this strat without camel, but it's extremely hard, and I usually die yeah. uh, at least once or twice. But it's still faster to on without camel to do it. But running through these hallways, it, it really makes it so much easier. Which, you guys don't want to see me die multiple times just spot. It happened earlier, it's not fun. Yeah, it's, I mean, if you played through this level on Legendary, you're like, you have to be jealous of this right now because this, this is the hardest level, for me, anyway. It is yeah. fun to actually play through, though. Yeah. It, it yeah. Is, it's a good level. It's not as bad as something like Sacred Icon. Yeah. Playing okay. through Halo normally is really fun. Yeah. It, it's a fun game. So this is interesting. This brute actually spawns inside of this box. I'm just taking a couple seconds what? to look because the game is smart and it does that. But I need to kill him anyway, but I thought it'd be fun to take a look at him. But that's, for some reason, if you don't have them alerted, they spawn inside of a box. It doesn't make any sense. <laughs> That's the only enemy I know of that happens like that in this game, and I actually didn't find it till a couple months ago. Okay, I have a plasma, so this should work. And a checkpoint. I'm gonna revert that checkpoint and try to get the stick. Ah, maybe not. There we go. That's that's better than waiting for him to run around and berserk. So I just dropped my pla or my beam rifle, which I will come back for because I'll be doing some sniper sword flying later in this level. Um, but right now, the brute shot and the carbine is the most effective way to kill people. And I come back through this way anyway, normally during the run. So it's the same, except I just realized I have no ammo. The TV strikes again. <laughs> um, oh. That's really bad. Eh, not too bad. But I will grab ammo this time. I, I would have played that differently if I had ammo. Uh, there's ammo boxes on these upper levels that you can get, so it's not that wasn't a huge death. But I think that was my first death in quite a while, since the middle of quarantine zone, I guess. Or did I? Yeah. That, I guess it hasn't been that long. All right. Uh, so now we have now we have carbine ammo, which makes these fights much easier. Oh, I didn't drop my beam rifle though. I forgot about that. There's tons of ammo around here. Yeah. You sort of need it. Yeah. The, there's a whole lot of killing going on. It it's kind of slow to do because the way the enemies aren't alerted to you, so you don't actually know where they are most of the time. So it's it's a little bit slow. And technically, the infinite camo glitch is slower than playing the game the level <coughs> regularly. If you were like a god gamer and could do everything first try. Like a segmented run, basically. Like blue glass. Yeah. A, you know, if you were God Gamer like blue glass, then you would not use the infinite camel glitch because it wastes like 90 seconds or something in total. It's mostly the load time. It's since you switch over to RTA timing, you have to add all that in. Uh, I think I spent at least an hour in this room. I spent yeah. at least 40 minutes stuck up on that top platform hiding behind a wall, crouching, hiding behind that wall. Yeah, it, it's tough. Come on. So you have to free two sets of Marines in this uh, level. So as soon as I kill all three enemies in there, the Marines are free. I don't understand how killing those guys just magically opens the gate, because I don't have to push any buttons or anything. I think they could have got out the whole time. They were just hiding. <laughs> they, they were, they're not very helpful anyway. I'll probably end up killing them, because I don't like them. These ones I don't like. I'm just heartless on these. I wish I had a plasma grenade right here. I usually stick this guy, and he'll kill a couple grunts, but back smack is not much slower. Sometimes he'll face you, so I'm glad he was facing the other way. All is lost. Listen yeah. to the grunt. So then you just have to clear out the rest of the enemies. Oh, I got a plasma. Sweet. I'll stick this guy too. And there's a trick coming up after I get enough of these enemies dead that will 
Uh, skip more killing, because that's we don't need more killing. We already killed enough. <coughs> this isn't FPS. This is sword flying. That's what I get to do for the second half of this level. As soon as Cortana says hostile reinforcements are coming down the lift, that's when I can start doing the trick. But that doesn't happen until I kill a certain number of enemies, which hopefully the Marines will help me with. Cause, okay, there we go. So if you drop to the middle level here, yeah. <laughs> and wait just a little bit right at, right around this area. It's, it's not that precise, but you just wait for a little bit. And then if I go back up this lift, hopefully they're dead, you'll see a bunch of dead bodies just falling from the ceiling. <laughs> <laughs> so that's, that's pretty entertaining. I love that one. Yeah, just a big pile of dead bodies right here. And that skips having to wait for them to come down and having to actually kill them before you can go up here. So that's, that's a pretty big time save and it looks awesome. Yeah, basically what happens is since you went down the level, the lift shuts back off and they all fall and hit the ground. And then that's why they're like bouncing around because of the force they hit the ground with. All right, I went back on purpose because it would have been slower. I despawned the enemies on accident in the next room. It would have been slower to go through the level without sword flying than to revert to this checkpoint. So that was, that was intentional. I didn't die or anything, but it's, it's just because I like to sword fly. Because it looks so cool. I mean. Why wouldn't you do this? Even if it was fat, or even if it was slower, it just looks so awesome. So much faster than walking. So, if you were to do a run on multiplayer, would there ever be a time that you would do a sword flutter? Uh, I thought about that, and I can't think of any places where you would uh, do a butterfly off of a co-op player. Um, well, come on. Wait, you, oh, I just realized you actually can't because they have to be an enemy. Come on. First sword fly I've been missing recently. There we go. This is one of my favorites, too. I'm nice. glad I missed that one. Because nice. this one just looks awesome. You go above the map. That's a As far as Halo tricking goes, there is a way to really, 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 really slowly go upwards with two people, for infinitely with two people with swords. Yeah. Um, but they need to be on opposing teams, so you couldn't actually do it as co op because your aimer has to be red to do it. No, I meant you get the Yeah. You, well, the, you can't lunge at a teammate is the problem. It's yeah. the, yeah. There is a way you can do it in a corner by jumping and jumping off of the corner with a ghost jump, but that's, that's hard. Nobody likes to do that. <coughs> there we go. That, this only saves like one second because the lift is just as fast as a sword fly. Um, <laughs> that oh, looks wow. cool. Yeah. They, they shouldn't kill me. They don't even know what they're shooting at. Oh, I, uh, I was going to butterfly off of these guys. You can do what you were just talking about, the butterflying thing is what most people call it. And you can butterfly and fly with these guys, but I missed it. Uh, it's just a couple seconds. I know that in Halo 3, you can have your battle rifle. Uh, with a few less bullets, you can just reload and uh, beat down. Yeah, that's a very similar trick to what I was going to do. Uh, you do that in the Crow's Nest speedrun, which Crow's Nest is a really cool speedrun. If you haven't watched Halo 3 speedruns, that's a pretty cool one to watch. It's very optimized. I never got into Halo 3 like yeah. that. It's, it's a fun game. I'm probably going to pick it up when I'm done with this one, I think I said earlier. <clears throat> and remember, he's been playing this game since 2006, so he's going to be done with it maybe 2020? Yeah. <laughs> maybe. <laughs> probably. Just to take care of a little official business here, there are some prizes we're giving away during this game. For a minimum donation of $10, you can get into a bid for a Halo Play Arts action figure. And for $20, we have an Xbox 360 game package for you. So those are minimum bids that when you donate during those runs, you can get into. We also have Metal Gear Solid coming up next. The Tuxedo Snake outfit has been met, so you'll be seeing that. Oh. And in regards to who to save, Meryl is leading $462 to Otacon's 246 So if you'd like Otacon to be saved, perhaps you'd like to donate to that before the Metal Gear Solid run comes up. 462 to 246 Yes. Get your money in, guys. <laughs> Interesting that it's the same numbers. The digits. Yeah. Really? Ah, uh, get out of my way. Yeah. Yeah. Four, six, two, two, oh, four, no kidding. That's cool. <laughs> 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 it, it is confirmed. All right. Speaking of numbers, Bungie loves seven, the number seven. That is true. There is tons of occurrences of the number seven in this run, or not this run, but in this game. They occur like everywhere. It's hard to explain some of them, but like there's seven rings of Halo, and they're just randomly on some walls. There'd be a, a number seven. I'm waiting for one of these elites to get on the turret. There we go. Um, being able to doing, I almost got stuck. Doing this will skip waves of hunters from spawning. Yeah, so. basically the trigger isn't drawn high enough because they didn't think you would be get get up that high, so you actually fly over it. 
And this is the Breaking Benjamin solo that you guys will get to hear. So Heck yeah, the time to rock out. <laughs> yep. It it happens very shortly because oh wow, Man, <laughs> hey, I get a checkpoint though, but it's it's pretty short. Please don't shoot. Stop. He shot me last time. He's not aiming at me because he can't see me. But he'll shoot at the other people, and if I intercept that, then I'll still die. All right. Is it even gonna start? Isn't it it's supposed to be starting right now? Are we not gonna be able to hear Breaking Benjamin at all? It's going on. Yeah. Oh no, there it goes. Oh, yeah. I thought it was. Yeah. So the order that you kill these enemies actually matters. Uh, if you kill elites, then hunters, then brutes, um, then you actually skip a wave of hunter spawns. So she talking instantly means that I skipped like three or four hunter or not hunters, brutes, um, and this door will open much faster. And that actually does have a story reason behind it. Since the, the brutes are fighting the other races in a civil war, if you kill the other races first and then you kill the uh, brutes, then there's nothing for the reinforcements to fight, so they don't spawn. Ah, I didn't get through the door. What I'm doing now is just com completely for swag. There's no reason to be doing what I'm doing. Yeah, level's on the timer. <laughs> Except I just died, so oh. that's it. <laughs> <laughs> um, the swag time loss. I'm, I'm doing it again anyway. Also inspired by Trihex. So. <laughs> <laughs> just showing off the sword flying skills. The, it's dependent on the dialogue that's happening right now. Let's go to the left this time, so I don't die. I actually fell in that pit. This. As you, there's a pit down there. I couldn't look at it in time, but I fell down that. Whatever. <coughs> oh, I just almost walked off the map. <laughs> I usually hold forward at the beginning of every level. This is one of the only levels that you have to hold left. And it's really trolly because if you hold forward at the start, then you just walk right off the map and die instantly. <laughs> so I shoot there to alert the enemies behind me. So a bunch of flood are running behind me. And then I jump above this area. So well, it's not so trolly if you watch the cutscene, because... Yeah, well, yeah, you'll know where you're going to spawn, but nobody watches cutscenes. What is this? Is this a game? Alright. So, I did a... When I was shooting there, that was to bring the enemies closer to me, so that I could cancel and land up here faster. It skips a good portion. I missed this jump, of course. This jump's actually precise. You're not supposed to go up here. Uh, it's not, not a huge time save, but you're supposed to go around over there and kill some things. Hopefully I get a checkpoint right here, because this part was giving me a little bit of trouble earlier, but we're going to hit it. Not, not, it's not over yet. It's a few sword flies in a row. All right. Come on. All right, he's dead. Don't shoot a brute shot. I told you not oh. to shoot a brute shot. <laughs> <laughs> I specifically said don't do that. <laughs> if this it's the brute shot guy that starts running, that's actually better. Yeah. But of course, it, oh, it is. Sweet. That's much better. So I shouldn't die here this time. Let's hope. This, yeah, famous last words, that's right. Um, let's see, these, oh, I got two brutes here though, so that could be bad. I might have to take this safely, who knows. Let's not. Uh, let's, no, let, let's be safe. <laughs> I, I got scared. Never say I shouldn't die here or anything like that. Well, I've only died here once before. Yeah. So, yeah, I had to wait for camo. I didn't actually have to wait for camo. You can go through there, but I got too many brutes in there. They scared me, so I had to hide behind a corner. Right, and this level is actually the shortest level of any Halo game in the entire series. Um, it's about a, two minutes long. It's, I think the record's 150 on Legendary. Um, that, that's not a huge deal, because I actually I need to do this again. But like I was saying, it's the shortest level. It's 150 on Legendary, because it has a huge skip towards the end of the level. I'm waiting for camo. That's what I'm waiting at that door for. This sword cancel is really important, and I got it perfectly, so that's good. Nice. Um, if you don't get it perfectly, you're going to get sniped uh, coming down here. And then, Oh, that's really unlucky. Yeah, that's that's really unlucky. Um, let's hope I can get this. This this is not the hard part of the level. I've finished the hard part of the level, and I want to show off the cool skip that makes the level so short. Go away. Just go away. <laughs> and you got sniped anyway. Yeah, I keep forgetting I need to wait for camo as well. The sniper is the hardest part, the main hard part, but that brute normally doesn't do what he's doing. Hmm, I don't... Please stop. Just stop. I believe you can stop. There we go. He's not shooting. So you're not supposed to jump off of this tree and get above the map. So <laughs> I, I used the wedge between the tree and the mountain, and then I came up here. All right, I got a checkpoint so I can look around. So normally you're supposed to take a ghost all the way through this section and all the way around the map, all the way back there where you can see some mountains and stuff, and it'll loop around. It's huge. It's like 10 minutes if you're playing casually. But they overextended the draw distance of the cutscene here. So I'm going to do a trick that will put me slightly inside of the cutscene trigger and finish the level way quicker than you're supposed to. You just walk along this edge, and bam, level oh, over. Wow. Nice. 
still a pretty short level even with the trolling. This is another part that could troll me pretty hard. Um, I need the first guy to spawn to have a sword, so step one is complete. One of the two will always spawn with the sword. Whether it's the first one or the second one is a little bit random. So I'm really glad that it was the first one. That guy needs to stop shooting me. I shouldn't die. I, I got really lucky nice. spawns. That's, nice. that's pretty much perfect, except this guy's... All right, that's still really good. Yeah, that's, that's really good. That's, that's the hardest part of this level. It, I guess I was one shot most of the time. It doesn't look that hard because I got lucky spawns, but even with the lucky spawns, I almost died. Yeah, sometimes they'll have two in front, two in back, and so if, even if you make it over or don't make it over that wall, uh, either way, they'll kill you. That time, they all, all four of them ran forward, and then one of them ran back, I think. Yeah. And that jump over the wall is actually really precise. You're not supposed to do that jump. So it kind of, it tricks them. That's how I'm able to jump over them without them shooting me as much. It's a jump. Uh, I, I have to jump and crouch off of that small spot. Yeah. MLG, right? going to pick up the skull in this level? I, I, zero time. I can. Uh, it doesn't affect the game either, so I will I will be picking it up because it's cool. All right, I got to get all the bugs though first. Not in single player. Oh, yeah. yeah, it doesn't affect single player at all. It's the iron skull. It's towards the end of this level. It's, I'll, we'll see it when we get there. We'll get back to that because let's hope these guys aren't mean. Sometimes these flood come out and they really try to mess with me and sometimes they're just nice. It looks like they're being kind of nice. Um, all right, maybe. All right, yeah, they were nice. That was good. You have to wait for this thing to carry you away. And while you're waiting, those flood are just getting closer and closer, and you're just hoping they don't melee you. Because um, if they melee you, they pretty much won't hit you. All right, All right that was really good uh, nice. enemy spawn right there. I went off of a, a second flood. I don't know if you could see, because this level's really dark. Um, I was playing on a TV earlier that the there was some stuff plugged into it and it made it really dark and it was impossible to play. I couldn't see anything through this section. Even with the flashlight I couldn't see anything. So it's nice to be on a TV that actually has good brightness. Give me a checkpoint. There we go. So I can do this a little bit harder. You see I wait for checkpoints, or I didn't I didn't pause there, but I my strats change depending on if I have a checkpoint. It makes rooms. I'll go, I'll do some slightly faster. It's usually just one or two times, one or two seconds in some places, but sometimes it's a few more. The checkpoints are really, really important. Oh, he's got a shotgun. Okay, he didn't Ooh. fire. I I was warning I was warning you guys about shotgun flood earlier. They are just absolutely brutal. They they're really mean. I thought he was gonna snipe you out of the air though. Yeah, I really thought he was gonna get me too. Um, this yeah. is, hopefully I get a checkpoint right here, because I really want to do a cool strat. I might go for it anyway, because my checkpoint isn't that far. There we go, we got yeah. it anyway. So you ride the elevator up a little bit, and then if you jump off, the game tries to bring it back down to catch you. But if you get stuck under it, it'll actually launch you all the way to the top. Yeah. Unfortunately, I got the trick, but the enemies have to spawn as well. So I did get the trick perfectly, but sometimes the enemies just don't spawn. So yeah. that, that's really stupid. Yeah, I'm only going to try it twice. That's, that's how it works, though. Yeah. Um, it saves like 20 seconds. We have so. yet to figure out exactly how to trigger the enemies or why they don't trigger sometimes. Yeah. Uh, you can do the exact same launch twice and then <laughs> one time it, it looks like it won't trigger them and it will. And the other time it looks like it will and it doesn't. So, Yeah, it's, it makes no sense. It, it seems to be like 100% random. So I'm going to go to a little bit of a safe strat here. It's, it's risky to get to, but once, yeah, so that, that, I'm near the top with the checkpoint. It, it's risky to get into, but once you're there, uh, you can kill the enemies much safer, and the flood will help you out with killing the brutes. Um, so that that'll help a lot. Normally, flood will be spawning right behind me and making it like really hard to do anything productive against these guys. Okay, so I got in here. That's nice. Um, and now I just get to kind of pick people off. Uh, it's a little bit of a hiding strat, but I got the sniper really quickly, so that's good. And these floods should start pushing forward as they're spawning and making it where I can be a little bit more risky. Let's go for a stick. Ah, oh, I just barely missed. I actually got really lucky brute spawns also. Two of them spawned without being honor guards, and that's about the best case scenario because uh, if they're not honor guards, they can actually die from headshots really quickly, but the honor guard ones take for... Oh wow, I got wrecked. <laughs> I should have I stayed up there and killed him. I will. 
Um, the yeah, honor guards take like, yeah, first. they take like 10 times more shots to kill, the ones with the headgear. Yeah, this is the other hard part of this level. This level has two hard parts. Uh, the very beginning where I've made it through first try, and this part where it's taken so far three tries. Hopefully that's it. None of the deaths are that costly, and I just got a checkpoint here, so that's even better. Let's kill the, uh, I got different brute spawns this time, I think. Can anyone tell me what my ammo's at? I know it'll be a little bit behind, but 38, okay. So that means I'm lower than that. Yeah. I have enough to clear the room, that's good. Whoa. I think, where is he coming from? That is weird. Oh, oh red. I, I still have, I have a close checkpoint though, so it's really Bad not that big of a deal, but he, he just bounced that, ricocheted that in. The uh, carbine or the brute shot's actually a weird weapon because it can ricochet, and so it bounced off the wall to my right, <coughs> and then just came in and right into my face. I backed up because I knew he was shooting at me, but it wasn't enough because Halo 2 is mean on Legendary. Yeah, it really. This is. is this is a really tough section. So a couple deaths here, they do suck and they're not that entertaining, but it's this is the safest and fastest way to do this. Unfortunately, there's a couple sections that just suck, and this is one of them. I, the floods should be running further forward right now. I don't. I really don't know why they're not. Um, and the sniper, the sniper jackal is still alive. That's why I'm being uh, timid with not popping out because the snipers are really mean. I don't think I've actually been sniped in this run yet, have I? Yeah. I, I have. Yeah, you have. Huh. I think. I think once. Maybe. Almost once. Yeah. They were all quick deaths. So. Yeah. So. What level did I get sniped on? Great. All right. Whatever. That doesn't matter. But now the. The flood are being mean to me. Usually they're not. Um, so let's just jump down. This this oh, will yeah. be a little bit risky, but I have to do it. <laughs> you have to come down at some point. You can't hide forever. All right. So we're in here. You you have to kill enough enemies to hit this door. So I got a checkpoint finally. That was a little bit rough, but still not too bad. That really didn't go as bad as it could have. I'm gonna grab a sniper here to hopefully do the last hubless sword fly of the run. This one looks really sweet, and you don't get a checkpoint That's until right yeah. Let's grab the skull. So, all right, skull <laughs> does nothing. But it's just it's just floating in this uh, elevator tunnel thing. I don't know what it's called, but let's hope I can get this. Sweet. Yes. Nice. All the way to the end. I have a cutscene for you. Is right there. That's pretty good. Good ending to a mediocre level. Were you three for three? Uh, yeah, I've, I've hit that a lot today. No, I mean all, oh. all three hudless in the run. Oh yeah, I, I hit all of them. Nice. Okay, so this is the last level in the game, and it's where I just parked my Spectre is very precise, and I have to hope that nobody blows it up, because I need it for the last half of this game. I actually made a backup save, if somebody does blow it up, because I think the Spectre strat is cooler than the other strat. So I, I'll be loading that up if they do blow it up. It doesn't sound like they did, so I'm pretty sure I have it. I just made it just in case, but we'll see. Need it, just yeah. <laughs> nice, nice to have, hopefully I don't need it. This is a new trick that me and Sliding Ghost found recently. Um, it's only a few months old, or maybe not even a month. <laughs> Going to this door hits one load zone, and then running back through this area triggers another load zone, and I'll get a checkpoint. Um, but then if you put too many, I think it has to do with projectiles on the screen, I'm not sure. If you shoot at this phantom, and you get enough in it, and you can knock off its turrets, after about 10 seconds, uh, the rates that I'm supposed to be killing at this point should be gone. Okay, yeah, so, so b both wraith drivers are just banished, which that, that's a pretty good skip, because normally you have to kill them, and it's really risky. So yeah, you're not supposed to be bringing the ghost through here at all, so the physics is, is really annoying. Yeah. Oh, it's the, not that hard to do. Yeah, I think they knew it was going to happen, but they, they tried to stop you at this point right here. You're not supposed to bring it past here, but you can actually boost across the part that they intended you not to go across. I messed it up, but I should have a checkpoint right here. I do, so that's not huge. Um, I shouldn't have gone while the people were running into my back. So normally you're supposed to go along to the right of that room. It's a U-shaped room. Um, but you can ramp your ghost straight through the middle of it, which saves time and it lets you keep your ghost. Um, so let's hope I can hit a second try. Don't shoot me. They can shoot you out of the air and knock you straight back where you came from. He just threw that grenade straight in the air. I don't know where that's going. <laughs> I have no idea what's happening with that. Okay, so second try is not too bad. That's a good. That's a cool trick. And if you get sniped, it'll be here. Yeah. 
Get out of here, son. Get out of here. He, he can't hit you, Bondo. Whoa. Yeah, he, he has a hard time hitting you from where I am. If I was a little bit further back, he would have got me. I was just barely close enough because normally he won't even fire. So him firing means that he could actually see me, which is kind of scary. But I kill the uh, jackals, and then I camo and get in because the drones just ignore you if you're camo and driving a vehicle. Yeah, enemies in this game are not very smart, so they'll see a vehicle moving by itself in their perspective because they're invisible, and they'll just let it go because, yeah. you know, it seems it, legit. Yeah, I mean, I'm not going to question an invisible person. You don't want to piss off ghosts, man. Yeah. So here's the Civil War continuing. Uh, you just freed the hunters, um, so they're just running around rampaging, killing all your enemies right there. And they're actually my allies at this point, the hunters are. So once I get three brutes dead, which I, they just died, um, I can go through this door. And since you're not supposed to have a ghost here, brute AI reacts to you a little weirdly. So you can just, you can just kind of squeeze your way in there. Yeah, that, that's a little bit weird. All right. Um, then also here, you're not supposed to have a, a ghost. Usually they don't shoot as much as they are right now. That was kind of worrisome, but I think I still got it. Yeah, all right, we're still in there. We in there. All right, once you get all four dead, you just have to wait for the cutscene to happen. Sometimes it takes five seconds, sometimes it's like 20, and sometimes it's almost instant, so that's good. And now I'm gonna be running backwards here. As soon as I hit that scarab, I turn around and just go back to this load zone, kind of similar to the last glitch I did to deload rates. This one is going to do the same thing. So I hit this load zone, and then I come back towards the scarab, and that'll deload three rates. Um, that nor yeah, so that dialogue means I did the skip right. So normally you have to wait, the Scarab will wait until you kill three rates for it to start moving because you're supposed to help Johnson and his Scarab get to the end of this level. Um, he'll kill some things and do some fun stuff. But if you uh, prevent these drivers from ever spawning, there's just rates sitting here. So that's, that makes the Scarab move much quicker. All right, let's hope that my no Spectre's there. The Spectre is nice. there. Get hype. I get to actually that's do really my good. strats. Uh, it, just, it blew up on me two earlier runs today, but for the past like month, it's been there every time. Uh, 360 height. <laughs> right. um, so the Spectre is a really weird vehicle. You can, you can kind of just drive up vertical walls with it. It doesn't make any sense. Like Ghosts on Quarantine Zone, you saw me go out of the map a little bit and drive up walls, but the Spectre can go up like even steeper walls. And you're not even really supposed to drive it through. As you can see, there's like weird lines and you're just underwater but like this wall I'm driving towards right now is like 85 degrees and you can just kind of boost into it just wiggle around what I'm doing here won't be wasting any time I'm just kind of showing things off but you can just yeah you just kind of drive up straight up walls. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's pretty cool yeah I don't know if they tested it too exactly. well yeah but so what I'm doing here won't waste any time because I have to wait for Johnson to walk himself all the way over here but I will do a cool trick with the Spectre that I needed, which will involve driving around up above the map. Whew. It's, if I miss it, I made a backup save, like I said. Hopefully I don't. It'll, it'll cause for a really hype ending. The other way to beat this game is very anti-hype. It's like really boring and slow, and you just have to wait for Johnson to kill the final boss, basically, for you. Um, but this way, you get to take matters mostly into your own hands. It's, it makes it a lot more fun. So yeah, like I said before, it's, it's really lucky for speedrunning that Bungie modeled all the out of bounds in this game because it lets you do stuff like this. You are not supposed to be anywhere near here. But they did put a skull up here, so yeah, I guess they, they figured they, knew people would be back they figured people would get here. I don't think they knew how exactly. Yeah. The, the skull on this level I will not be picking up because it's Black Eye Skull, which will make it where Master Chief or Arbiter Shields don't come back unless you kill an enemy by meleeing him. So that. But at the same time, you can get a double yeah, shield. You can get all the way up to overshield with it, though, which you normally can't during a run. So that's a plus. But it's it's still very bad to not have shields that recharge on legendary. So now that the scarab's finally almost here, I'll be in position a little bit before he gets here. All right. Don't bounce off. There's a chance you can bounce off there. OK. So now I just wait for him to shoot. This should just be like 30 seconds or so. and. I'll say what's going to happen here. Uh, he'll blow up this door. Normally, you're supposed to fly a banshee to that door that he's going to shoot at. But the final boss room, its trigger actually extends all of this area. So if you jump into this area, then you can spawn the final boss room. But what's even cooler is this map overlaps the map of the boss room. So if you put the specter in the perfect spot, the you can actually make the specter fall into the boss room with you. Bastard. And that will be really cool because you're not supposed to have vehicles in there, and you can do some unexpected things. 
much Why did I do that? How much of that was done on purpose? Why did I do that? I almost messed that up really badly. Okay, we in there. I'm really glad I didn't mess that up. That almost was bad. I got out way too early. So I wait for this thing to slide down, and I got a checkpoint too, so that's cool. As it's sliding down, if I fall down with it and trigger the checkpoint right, or trigger the boss room right now, which you're not supposed to do, hopefully my vehicle will fall in. There it is. <laughs> there it is. So now the start of this room might look a little bit slow, but I'm gonna get Johnson into this specter. Normally, you will have Johnson um, shooting, he has a sniper rifle, and the only way to kill Tartarus, which is this final boss down here with the hammer, the only way to kill him is for him to be shot three times with a sniper. That'll get rid of his crazy shield, and then you can shoot him and damage him. But he's invincible until then. So if you don't bring your own sniper, which has limited ammo, then you can't kill him quickly. And even if you bring a sniper, it's gonna take a long time, because Johnson's really, really slow to shoot. But luckily, if you put him in a vehicle, the game forgets he's on this map and it knows oh, that yeah. it knows that there needs to be a Johnson in here so it just spawns another one <laughs> so now we have two Johnsons but what's cooler than two Johnsons is three Johnsons so we'll wait a little bit longer get one more Johnson and then we'll bring Johnson to the fight and that that will, <laughs> that will make this so now we have three three Johnsons so now we can actually bring them to the fight and the now the that's flipping is good right there that's not yeah. a bad thing I want all of them to be out of the vehicle. Yeah, I almost just got sniped by Johnson. That would have been bad. Okay, so now they'll all start unloading on him. Hopefully they get close to him. Which Johnson are you talking to? Yep. Okay, let's see. Get over here, Charteris. Get over here. As soon as he realizes that Johnson's here, they'll start unloading on him. They're kind of in a bad position because of the way the Spectre flipped, but I'm going to actually launch the Spectre away, hopefully. Okay, that's good. Nice. Now, where is Tartarus? Come over here. Come on. You can do it. I believe in you. There we go. <coughs> All right. So now that he's here, Johnson's have found him, and they'll just unload on him. Are the brute, are the brute rifles the best weapon? For him? They actually do the fastest damage per second because they shoot so quickly. Right. Um, and, I think it's whatever. Yeah, and there's no reload time. Um, unlike another weapon, like, you would probably be, be reloading right now but you can just keep on shooting. There is the overheat if you shoot too fast, but even that's really short. It's faster than most reloads. Um, so you just kind of let these, and that's the end of the level. The, as soon as the screen turns white, that will be time. And let's see, hopefully these guys Maybe. will kill me. There's a bunch of people running around me that can kill me. Time. Uh, that, that nice. Wasn't <laughs> My goal was sub two, and I, it was possible, but I had some silly deaths in there. All right, I will see if that, let's see. I, I did not get the message from Anakade, unfortunately. I, I don't know what it was supposed to be. It didn't go through, but that is the end of the run. Now I have something I want to do. Can I get the Scarab Gun? It takes about a minute. I'm pretty far underestimate. Can I do that? Yes, Scarab Gun. It'll, it'll be really quick, unless. Well, did we get to $1,000? Yeah, yeah, just go for it. All right. <laughs> Um, I have a save set up that's already practically there. It's a really cool um, Easter egg in this game that somebody wanted a donation incentive for. It's, it's the gun that the Scarab shoots in plasma rifle form. So, and it has infinite ammo and you don't have to ever reload it or, uh, and it doesn't overheat. Never, yeah. Now, which one are you getting? I'm There's getting three. the, yeah, I'm <laughs> getting the one, the, on, the most known one. The, the one intended on one. Yeah. yeah, not the ones that... Right. So, <laughs> So hopefully this load doesn't take too long. This will probably be the longest part of it because I have a checkpoint. <laughs> Get hyped for the scarab gun. I know a lot of people wanted to see this. I had people come up to me in the practice rooms asking if I was going to do the scarab gun. So this, sh this should just take a little more than a minute. It was a pain setting up the save file, though. Yeah. Like, Banshee AI is really dumb. Yeah. So normally what you have to do to get the scarab gun is lure the Banshee through some tunnels and then there's a one, it's like 29 frames or something. You have barely, barely less than one second to board this Banshee as it's disappearing. If you're too early, then you blow up and die. If you're too late, then you, uh, it disappears and you can't do it. But I never I, had trouble getting yeah. on the Banshee. Yeah, it's, it's sometimes a problem and sometimes not. It's giving me trouble today. Um, but 
I had the Banshee already through oh, to the second half of the map. So the yeah, setup. so we're already here. We don't have to do the long setup that takes ten minutes. So I have the I did the trick earlier today, set up the save, and now I'm flying to the top of this level. You're never supposed to get a banshee in this level. And like Reed said, luckily everything is rendered. Like all these buildings in the background that look like they might just be scenery and not solid or something, you can actually fly up to them and stand on them, even though you weren't really ever supposed to be up here. So it's kind of cool that they're here. And then Bungie, being how cool they are with their Easter eggs in some of their games, they actually put an Easter egg on top of a cone up here. So we'll see it. It'll just be standing there. And then we'll fly down and we'll have a little bit of fun with it. So here it is. It's just sitting here, so pristine on a cone. We're not going to fire it yet. We'll, we'll let the hype build. Yeah, it says I picked up a yeah, plasma picked rifle. Up a plasma <laughs> it is not, it's not quite a plasma rifle. All right. There's one more thing that I want to show. It's also not really out of the way. Oh, that's soccer ball. Yeah, there's a ball. soccer ball hidden on this level as well. Yeah. That's just they kind of yeah. go well together. Yeah, they really do. But you can shoot the soccer ball around with your scarab gun. So here's a nice little soccer ball right here. Just, just it's it's actually giant soccer ball as you can see. But let's get this out of here. All right, let's if the banshee bombs aren't working, let's use the real gun. <laughs> <laughs> so this. This is the scarab gun. It's very cool. Warning, do not fire yeah. this when near a wall yep. or object. Yeah. So or it's, really it's, anywhere below horizontal. It's literally the gun that the scarab fires, and it's it's really awesome to have. <laughs> and you can't really do a whole lot with it. There's there's no real use for it, but it looks just awesome. You can destroy the rest yeah. of the level. Yeah, you can do that too. If you fire too much and if you duel them, it's really easy to free your game. But we'll kill a couple enemies with it just to show how powerful it is. Yeah, there's multiple on the map, and... Some are harder, oh, much harder to reach than others, but so you that can't. Right. <laughs> Multiple, I only know two on this map and one on the previous one. There's one on outskirts and two on this level. That's all yeah. there are in this game? Yeah. I killed, all right. So there's just three rates just dying instantly. But that's all I'm going to show because we need to get on schedule. <laughs> Thank, thanks for watching, guys. Thank you very much, Monopoly, for that awesome Halo 2 run and the commentary as well. This is Awesome Games Done Quick 2014, hosted by Speed Demos Archive and Speed Runs Live. We are live here in the Washington, D.C. area, having a fantastic time raising money for the Prevent Cancer Foundation. Just to let you know, uh, we do have a bid on who to save, uh, Meryl or Otacon for Metal Gear Solid. Meryl's still in the lead with 470 to 246 and the tuxedo the tuxedo snake donation incentive has been met let's power through some donations here as we're switching over to metal gear solid uh miss neuro fish fox did follow through on his uh thing with uh if i i said if i give 50 dollars if everyone did the wave but everyone did it twice so here's a little bit extra with 126 dollars and 29 cents uh, Master Kiz donated $80. This Halo 2 run is awesome, bringing back a lot of memories. Great cause, great event. Keep up the fantastic work to everyone involved. Uh, Nathan, uh, Nathan Narian donated $50 and said, Just wanted to say thanks for doing this. I look forward to every AGDQ and SGDQ as they are a lot of fun. I have lost memory, many family members to cancer, and I know we are getting close to beating it. Awesome Halo 2 run. I have many great memories. Paul B. donated $50. Hey, from Glasgow, Scotland. My first time checking out AGDQ, and man, this is awesome. Great cause, great games, great prizes. I'll be tuned in before, during, and after work today. Good luck, guys. We have a $30 donation from Anonymous. This event is great. Many awesome games been played. And beat cancer, too. God, my haiku is awful. Jethro donated $50. This commentary so far is fantastic. Keep it up, McNopoly and Couch Crew. I spent years playing Halo competitively, but I've never seen anyone destroy the campaign like this. It's awesome. <laughs> 